Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody, and welcome on back to the Friday edition of the Perfection Randomizer. Hope everyone's doing well. It's a very sunny day outside, which is normally like pretty nice, but the way my sis, my the way my monitor is set up right now, it's kind of like giving me like a a sneaky little glare that makes it harder to read chat. But okay, that's a little better now. All right, hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. <laughs> I am very excited. Excited to actually play a, a quarter of the game. <laughs> yeah, chat, can you can you believe it? After we catch the blue discus, we actually get to play the game. Chat, I just got to I don't mean to be I don't mean to derail the conversation literally before we even get into a conversation, but I just got a text message saying, "Hi, is this a tour guide service? How do I break the bad news to them?" I mean, it's about to be a tour to Ginger Island, so I, I guess I guess you know that's uh, one way to look at it. <laughs> Just go with it. Just to do the improv rule. Yes, and tell them it is, but that you're lost. A Stardew Valley tour guide service. Tour you to my Stardew farm. Take them on a tour. I mean, part of me kind of wants to. I can guide you to the block button. All right. Well, let's not dilly dally any further here. I am I am excited, and I know everyone else is too. Not only for the potential of a new goal, not only for the potential of Ginger Island, but primarily, first and foremost, we get to see some pink Junimos today. Can we get some your? Can we get some pink emojis in chat? Any pink emojis that you might have on on hand? I am very excited to see these pink Junimos. I, I want to know how pink how pink exactly they're going to be. Are they going to be pink or are they going to be more of a magenta? I don't know. It's a... Uh, I've never seen a Star Shard tinted Junimo before. Look at all those pink emojis. Holy moly. <laughs> how soon, Blue Discus? The blue discus, we have to, um, so we have to, number one, we have to get our quality crops to finish the quality crops bundle. Then we have to do, buy out all the Joja stuff, which we have more than enough money to do. Then we have to build the boat to Ginger Island. Then we have to get into ourselves into a position where we can reset effectively for a blue discus catch. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hello, by the way, Salmons, exclamation point Sal. Oh, I also need to do exclamation point goal. Exclamation point goal in order to give ourselves this. This will probably be the final time this goal is pinned, hopefully, unless things go absolutely horrendously today. But fingers crossed that that, that does not happen. By the way, since Salmence is here, um, signal boost. Just put, Salmence just posted a video on his channel that I was very happy to partake in an agree or disagree segment where myself, Charlie Barley, Wickety, and Shawnee do all. Uh, gave heated d discussions and opinions over various Stardew Valley themed questions. Definitely go check it out over there. It was a it was a very fun time and it's only the first half. So there's there's yet more to come, so definitely check that out if you have not yet. Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that video. It was it was great. Big big thanks to Sal for putting that on. All right. Let's, um, so we have the pepper poppers in inventory. This is key. This is integral to our strategy because the plus two farming buff, believe it or not, will apply to the Junimos and will mean that they have a higher chance of harvesting quality crops. They're not going to harvest anything today. We went over that because it is a rainy day and Junimos don't like the rain. I don't know if they like melt in the rain like the Wicked Witch of the West, but, uh, they're, they, they tend to not come outside in the rain. But if we head down here and check out our our farming plot, for those who may, may have missed last, yesterday's stream, this might look a little insane right now, but this is how we have things. Oh my gosh, this Junimo hut. I can't believe this is real. I can't believe this is honestly this is honestly real. It was crazy when I put Shawnee in a chokehold for disagreeing about Haley. Spoilers, but also he had it coming. <laughs> Chat, this this Junimo hut. It honestly, it kind it, it's. Can I tell? Can I be honest with you? Can I be sappy with you guys for a minute? This Junimo hut 
after I ended the stream yesterday, I, I didn't have as much time to like enjoy the Judah Mahal. We got it literally at the very end of last stream, and I didn't have enough a lot of time to save the moment. I was pretty pressed for time. Um, seeing it now and thinking back on it, I was like, I, I was like kind of like on the verge of tears for a part of like when I was like thinking about the Junimo hut and like having gotten here like because this is this is more than just like the Junimo hut this is like a symbol because if you think back to the no level up challenge this was like one of the things this is like like the only thing really stopping that challenge from uh from coming to fruition in like the most uh, satisfying way if we could have gotten the Junimo hut back then we could have completed the quality crops bundle and it could have it all worked out so differently so this just feels it feels like we've come full circle this feels like closure in a way and i know it's just you know just it's just the junimo hut at the end of the day but it's our junimo hut and yeah i don't know what more to say it, it's i'm very excited i'm so excited that i'm just waxing poetic here and I, I need to not to i need to not do that because we need to sleep one more day so that we can actually get these crops these gold quality melons are waiting for us. They're made for us, the Junimos. They're going to do the darn work. Let's make it happen. Does luck affect crop quality? I don't believe so. I think the only things that affect crop quality are fertilizer and your farming level. I believe that is the truth. All right. And if our calculations are correct, tomorrow should be the harvest day for the melons. So let's go ahead and just sleep the day away. Let's not waste any more time here. Hopefully it's not a rainy day again. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this pepper poppers because the Junimos get started like right away. So we want this farming buff as early as possible. Let's head on outside and uh, and let's go see these pink Junimos. What do you guys say? <laughs> We got to see them at work a little bit last stream, but now they're actually with the star shards in there, the lucky star shards, our lucky Junimos. Oh my gosh. Look at them, chat. Look at them. <laughs> These little pale pink Junimos. They're going to town on the melons. Look at them go. They're so cute. Oh! <laughs> little pastel pink babies. Let's see how they're doing as far as, uh, we already have three gold quality melons. Oh my gosh, this is this is going to be easier than I thought. How much do we have any gold quality corn? The corn has not yet grown. All right, I, well I guess I can I can water all the rest of this while they're uh, doing their stuff, right? Junimo huts definitely don't get enough love nowadays. I this is literally my first time ever like productively using a Junimo hut. And I can safely say, well, I, I'm never going to go back. I'm never going to go back to just normal farming again. Do you see this? This is so amazing. <laughs> it's everything I could have dreamed and more. We're already, we, we got our, our, our quality melons. We are well on our way. We love to see it. All right, I don't want to harvest anything here on my own. So let's just be very careful with where we click here. You know, uh, that's already watered because the retaining soil. They're almost done with the harvest already. These, there's some hops to harvest. There's the tomatoes. Uh, the corn should be coming in relatively soon. I thought the corn would have been ready by now. Actually, did I have to like forget to water it at some point or or what? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. But I could have sworn the corn would be ready by this point. Get some bee, bee emojis, by the way. It's the perfect storm. The perfect storm of greatness. B underscore boss dot OGG. Hitting, hitting a little bit different right now, I'm not going to lie. Dude, look at this little bunny just sitting on the... Oh my gosh, that was pretty cute. <laughs> His music now more than ever is hyping me up for the future of this challenge. There's there's so much. Look at it. He was waving. The little Junimo was waving. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, this is so precious. This is so precious. I love these little guys. He's, he's doing a little dance. He's making sure that the, the hops are going to be good quality. They're working in tandem together. That was so cute. 
Look at that. I mean, they're only just reg the regular hops, but that's fine. <laughs> 12 gold quality melons. I will, you know, we'll take the five that we need. They can they can hold on to the rest for right now. Um, obviously, we're going to want to take the... We're going to want to take... I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try like move that, but I guess it, I guess that's the best we're going to get. Um, yeah, they can hold on to the rest for now. It's going to get full before too long, I'm sure. And I guess you got you guys you can just vibe out now to, as far as I'm concerned. Just vibe. Do I need to water these again? I think I don't think I watered those. Okay. Worked like a charm. I didn't think I honestly didn't think the farming buff would be quite that effective, but it clearly uh clearly did the trick there. Very, very happy with that. Vibe into the volcano music. Who wouldn't vibe into the volcano music, to be honest, though? Alright. Water the tomatoes, too? Oh, you're right, I did not water the tomatoes. You are correct on that. Not that it's, like, super mission critical, but why would we not want more tomatoes, right? I mean, in real life, I definitely do not want more, more tomatoes. I'm ordering a, a burger. You can bet that I'm putting in the little note. on the, If I'm doing like an online order, I'm putting in the little note for the restaurant. No tomatoes, please. And if they, if they send the tomatoes, I'm leaving them a bad Yelp review. I'll tell you that right away. All right. Need to play this game again. It's it's reinvigorated me. This ch this challenge. I've and the Junimos and everything. It's it's feeling so good. Our first five quality crops. We need five gold quality corn. I don't think we want to necessarily use the pepper poppers for the corn though, because I'll tell you why. Um, we have so many more opportunities for the corn since it's it's going to grow throughout the rest of summer and fall, and it's going to be. Um, and we have like multiple harvests of it as well. So I think we should hopefully just be able to get lucky enough with the quality fertilizer that we got on there to get five. If we need to use one, then I will, but I'd rather save these for the for the pumpkins if I need to. Either way, that's uh, one harvest done. Let's go to bed. The tomatoes complement the salt and the seasonings. The glutamic acid combines with the sodium ions to tickle your umami taste buds. What a sentence. Holy. <laughs> I believe you, Shippo, but it's it doesn't do anything for me. The tomato is just... In, in any context, tomato, raw tomato especially, can't do it. The more the tomato is cooked and processed, the more palatable it becomes to me. But it is uh, still... <laughs> Far from what I would consider truly palatable. Starfruit ready. The corn is being harvested as we speak. Well, we'll see. We'll see how this corn goes. Like, if I don't get any quality corn here, then maybe I'll invest a pepper popper into this. Because I know the farming levels do significantly boost our odds of getting high quality crops, but we'll see how it goes here. So I think, what are the odds with just quality fertilizer and, and level 0 farming? It's like, I want to say like 8%. Is that what I uh, said last time? 8% of a, of a gold star crop. Underrated aspect of Junimo huts, by the way. You, get, you, can, you can water all your other crops if you don't have sprinklers. And you can, uh, while the Junimos are harvesting them, you can you can be busy watering, and you don't have to worry about harvesting later. It's just, it's a great time all around. Junimo huts are the way of the future. What do we got? We already have three gold quality corn. All right, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I am not sweating that in the slightest. We'll wait until we get five, and then we will uh, gather it all together. That's everything watered, right? All right, Junimos, five out. <laughs> it's like Autobots roll out, but Junimo's vibe out. And uh, we'll continue on here. It's like you have little friends to farm with. Exactly! It's like multiplayer for people who don't have friends. Or pe for people whose friends are busy, probably more, more adequately. <laughs> Do I want to plant leftover seeds? Do I have leftover seeds to plant? Do I have any other? I do have the I do have hop starters. I do have some hop starters I could plant. Um, 
A lot of this is our spring seeds that we stockpiled on last time. Rhubarb seeds, rice shoots, wheat seeds. We, we want to save the wheat and the melon seeds and there's the, and the summer spangle, right, for crafting purposes. I guess I could plant more spangle seeds. I think we're good though. I don't think I don't think I need to worry about planting anything else. I think we should just focus on on getting the job done here, on getting the quality crops of our dreams. Could start planting mixed seeds instead of tossing them now. I also do have a pretty hefty collection of mixed seeds saved up. 75 mixed seeds in there. I didn't always toss them. They were just one of the first things that I usually toss cuz I I don't value them that much, but Mixed seeds cannot turn into forage, no. That would, that would be a cool little gimmick for mixed seeds if they had a chance to become wild seeds that would grow into, like, the forageables. That would make them infinitely more valuable in my eyes, but alas, they they aren't so magical. Or if they could just, like, grow into, like, any crop. Like, imagine this, mixed seeds, but they grow into any crop in any season. So, like, you plant it and you just, like, randomly get, like, a, a pumpkin in spring or something. I'm kind of here for that. I'm here for the RNG lottery. Because you, you know me and RNG go together like, uh, like peanut butter and margarine on a sandwich as a six-year-old child. Was that just me? I'm I'm a big I'm very partial to peanut butter and, and margarine sandwiches. Or at least I was when I was younger. You guys are vibing out with these hops. And you know what? I can I can respect it. Peanut butter and honey? I never got on the peanut butter and honey train, to be honest with you. I've tried it out before, and it's, like, fine, but it's not really my, uh, my preferred method of peanut butter consumption. Or peanut butter-related sandwiches. Nor is peanut butter and jelly. For all that it's, uh, for all that it's, like, the archetypical peanut butter sandwich... Peanut butter and jelly, it's, it's, I would, I would classify it still as probably like an A tier, like a low A tier sandwich. But as far as peanut butter sandwiches go, sometimes, I, I honestly think peanut butter and, and butter or peanut butter and margarine just has it beat straight up. Peanut butter and pickle. What are you, Elvis or something? It does depend on the type of jelly, though, that you're using. Like, underrated san underrated jelly, grape jelly, for, for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I can get on board with that. But if it's just like a, a traditional, like, strawberry or raspberry jam, it's, uh, it's not, not doing too much for me, I'm gonna be honest with you. What's the difference between jelly and jam? I know, like, as a nomenclatural term, it's, that's not where our cherry wine goes. I know it's, uh... Like, in in Europe, in a lot of places in Europe, jelly and jam are, like, very, very different things. But, like, I've always used them very interchangeably in my neck of the woods. Jam has fruit chunks. Jelly is pure pu puree. I do like some fruit chunks. There's nothing, I mean... I will, I will say, like I said before, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, not always my favorite. However, on those instances where you get, like, the perfect spread of jelly, where you get, like, like half of a strawberry, just as a little chunk in, on its own in the sandwich, ooh, that, that solitary bite makes the, it elevates the sandwich to a new level. I'm not gonna lie about that. Jelly is liquid? I don't know what jelly is you were using. Jelly, jelly is... Plasma, basically. It's it's the fourth it's the fourth state of matter. In non-American English, jelly is also jello, so it's a big difference. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is like jello falls into that category as well, as well. Whereas jelly, sorry, jello is its own very specific thing here. Gotta love cultural diversity, even though it does make things a bit more confusing from time to time. How often does corn regrow, by the way? 
Also, you know, I technically don't need to be watering everything here. Why, why are you allowed to pet a cow from a sitting position? Make it make sense? I mean, it does make sense, but I'm just upset because <laughs> of my own silly negligence, I suppose. Not me just petting a cow as I'm trying to escape my, my convoluted arm setup. The cow smiled at me. <laughs> it was a precious moment between between Beatrix and the cow. I gotta give it that, but alas, all it was was a fleeting moment in the in the myriad swamp of time that we find ourselves locked in in this challenge. She knew I was. She was the first cow I'd ever petted, but she won't be the last. Mark my words. Mark my words. Like I was saying, though, I don't really need to water everything necessarily. Like I've got the I've got the hops that I need. Like I've got base, basically everything here is all that I really need need for the foreseeable future. Don't get me wrong, having more is probably a good idea. But uh, really, watering the corn, the corn and the ancient fruits are about the only thing that I really care to water right now. But the profit, though? You're not wrong about the profit. That said, I do have a lot of animal produce just waiting to be sold at, at the drop of a hat. The rest of this, though, honestly, like, I'm not too... Yeah, I got, I got lots of product. I think we're going to be fine. I think we should just focus on the corn and on the ancient fruit and let the rest of it uh, wither on the vine. Might sound cruel, but they served their purpose, and I'm glad they were there for the ride. I'm making an executive decision. We're corn farmers now. You never know what the next ta task could be. Thank you. Thanks to Miss Palindrome, though. We uh, are prepared for most eventualities, I would say. If we do need any of those crops, then we, we have them on deck. Although, you know, part of me does still want to water them just, be just for the thrill of it. Maybe I will keep watering them. I'll, I'll let today slide, but I'm... I'm I'm starting to change my mind. I'm starting to think, I'm starting to feel bad for the crops, if that makes any sense. And like, could I ever, could I call myself a true farmer, a true uh, crop enjoyer, if I didn't water all the crops when the opportunity presented itself? I don't think I could. Pops are amazing energy. Are they, though? 45 energy, 20 health. I mean, I've already got, like, a lot of salads. But I guess, you know, because they do grow, like, every single day. So there is uh, that to consider. How often does corn regrow, by the way? Anyone know that one off uh, the top of their head? I'm just curious as to when we should expect our next corn harvest. I'm a corny farmer. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys about that time where we were playing? I was like playing a. Uh, I was at one of my friends' house. This was just a few years back, and we were playing like board games and stuff. And the game we were playing was one of those games where, I don't remember what the exact name of it was, but it's a game where you have to try and get everyone else to guess a word that you're randomly given. But it's 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 almost like charades, but you're allowed to use, like, other words, and you're trying to, like, describe the word instead of, like, gesticulating as you would with charades. Um, and the word that I had was, it's not code names, no, it's, it, I don't know, it might be taboo, it's, it's, but it's like, it, you just have a word and you're trying to get them to guess it by describing it, but you're not allowed to use the word itself to describe it, obviously. The word I got was corner, and for some reason, my brain saw the word corner, and instead of thinking, like, you know, the corner of a room, the corner of a table, the corner of anything, nah, my silly little brain went, oh, a corner? Is that, like, a farmer who grows exclusively corn? 
So I was sitting there trying to get them to guess corner by saying stuff like it's you know it's like a it's a farmer, but all they grow is that uh, that yellow that that yellow fruit vegetable that that's like on a stalk you know on a it goes on a cob and i'm trying to, they're doing all this stuff and they're like what are you talking about like there's no that's, that's just a farmer there's no specific name for that and i'm like come on guys come on and then i finally like no one got it because obviously no one got it <laughs> and then i revealed that it's corner and one of them just looks at me and like and they're like corner and i'm like yeah corner and they're like you mean like the corner of this table right here and i freaking went to the ethereal plane i was so embarrassed it was it was so good <laughs> now anytime i see the word corner or corn i'm just like oh my god no no please no you thought i was gonna try and get people to guess what a coroner is all right hold on you thank you i appreciate your your happy smiling cow face but Need you to clear out of the way for the time being. That's definitely happened to us all once or twice. It's weird how that goes sometimes. Like, every so often, your brain will just, like, forget something that should never be forgettable in in traditional, like, day-to-day -day life, right? Like, the definition of the word corner. <laughs> it's a great story now. That's the, that's the one thing you get out of situations like that. Embarrassing in the moment, but uh, very fun to laugh about later on. Like, another example of my brain forgetting something extremely basic is, like, it's not much of a story, but there was one time where I, like, was going to... I was going to go sit down at, like, my dinner table. I was the only one there. It wasn't, like, a family dinner or anything. And uh, I just, like, looked at the chair, and the chair looked back at me, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he looked at me. And then uh, I forgot how to sit down. I, I was like looking at the chair and I'm like, how does this machine work? I was, I didn't understand. And I was like that for like 30 seconds. Then I'm like, what, what the heck was just wrong with my brain just now? <laughs> your boy, your BF thought the word crumbs would ask for breadcrumbs to cook with one. Wait, forgot the word crumbs. Oh, so he could, he was trying to like, can you pass the, you know, like the, the bread in little like pebble form, the little pebbles of bread, the whatever they are, and that, that's pretty good. I didn't know the grass would spread inside here, by the way. I thought the grass would be safely eschewed by the by the wall, but is not the case, it would seem. How are we doing as far as corn goes, by the way? We got four quality corn, one more to go. We are so, so close to that quality crops bundle. You don't even know. You guys, you, I mean, you do know. You've been here for the journey, but <laughs> but you don't even know. It's about to be real. Seeing me water without the pocket bears gives you anxiety. I don't have to worry so much about the pocket bears anymore because the Junimos are my new pocket bears. They just get to the crops before I get the chance. And it's all, uh, it's all hunky-dory. All right, off to sleep again. There was one time you were sitting on a very bouncy sofa. You tried to get up by bouncing yourself up. It worked, but a whole lot more. It had a whole more, lot more energy than you expected it to. That's got a similar vibe to like when you're walking down the stairs and you get to the last step, or like you think you're at the last step, but there's actually one more step to go. So you like trip over yourself because you put extra weight on your foot, expecting like the it to have been the last step, and you're like, oh. And you don't necessarily, like, fall over, but you definitely stumble forward, and you're like, what the heck was was that about? Is that relatable, or is that just one of my idiosyncrasies again? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. I love that even when there's, like, not hardly any crops to, like, harvest, the Junimos still come out, and they just, like, dance. <laughs> That's like one of the best parts of owning a Junimo hut, honestly, is just watching them dance among among the cornfields. They're the true corners. Or the last step up. It could it can happen in re reverse too, absolutely. On the last step up. Do shovel and novel not rhyme? <laughs> shovel and and what would you I guess novel? That sounds so weird. Novel. 
Or shovel. Shovel sounds a little more reasonable than novel. Oop. English is a stupid language. You won't hear any, any arguing from me on that front. It's my first language, and it's the main language that I that I know. So, I mean, I just accept it for what it is, but I don't disagree that it has... So it's it's a quirky it's a quirky language for sure. It's one of the it's like the I'm not like other languages. It takes like elements from every other language, but it's like but it takes them so haphazardly and nonsensically that it's like hard to really process what the rationale was behind taking all those elements from those languages. You know what I mean? Just doing a quick scour for for debris. This corner of the farm gets pretty, pretty shaggy, I'm not going to lie. Thankfully, this is like a decent, easy enough, easy enough place to bomb these trees. So if it gets too unruly, then we can always resort to that again. Because we all know how well that went last time. for a lot of people that have English as their second language. Uh, they have probably for forgotten a word in their first language and only remember the English one. Chat, how do you think babies think? Like, obviously babies must have thoughts, right? Because they're like, they're, they're living beings. Or like, how does anything without a language really think? Because whenever I have thoughts, like I think in English or I think in like, I've, I've, I do occasionally think in French in very specific circumstances, but like, how, I, it's, it's like, it's one of those things that's like impossible for me to fathom, like how something could have thoughts without knowing a language. But obviously they do, like animal, like animals don't, don't really know languages, or at least they don't know like the full breadth of languages. They can be taught to understand certain words, but there's no way your dog is just sitting there thinking, walk, fetch, walk, fetch, treat, walk, fetch, treat, walk, walk, walk. There's, there's no way. Their, their thoughts have to be, like, somewhat more complex than that, right? Like, they don't, uh... <laughs> Ideas, pictures, feelings, I guess so, yeah. It's just it's just hard for me to, to really fathom it. Feels like such an alien concept. Like, don't get me wrong, I have feelings, and I understand the process of, like, you know, feeling those feelings in your brain and processing them in a certain way, and also, like, having images go through your brain and using your imagination and stuff. But oftentimes, or pretty pretty much all the time, those thoughts, those images and feelings are built foundationally on language. Like, I, I imagine a picture in my head, but then I'd, like that picture is, like, intrinsically tied with the language describing it, you know what I mean? Non-native English gang rise. I mean, there's there's a lot more of you than there are the English speak speakers, less despite what you may believe, <laughs> or that or people as English as their first language, I suppose. Oops. So yeah, definitely rise up. Which quality quality crop are we waiting on now? We are currently we we need one more corn, one more quality corn. And then five quality pumpkins in the fall. So I think once we get our last quality corn, I'm gonna go ahead and forego um, forego watering other than like the ancient fruit and stuff. Maybe I guess I, I, could, I could. Yeah, I think I probably should forego watering because this is another one of those days, by the way, where I will have to. I do have to go to work later today, so I won't be able to stay like for an extra long stream or anything like that. Um. So. 
every we gotta make every moment count here. So why why would I be out here, you know, watering tomatoes and stuff needlessly when the blue discus awaits us in the future? Can the Junimos harvest giant pumpkins, or do we need to plant in a way that those can't grow? Um, Junimos cannot harvest giant crops, that is true. However, I kind of just... What if, what if we just want a giant pumpkin, though? <laughs> I still have no answer, by the way, to the question of whether giant crops give farming experience. I, I still have no idea. I've never experimented with that. I do not know if that is a thing that happens or not. Want to buy two sweet gem berry seeds before fall? I would only buy one, but because I I, I want to minimize the traveling cart uh, purchases as much as possible. But it it is probably a good idea. We should probably make that purchase today, or not? Well, not today, but next time the traveling cart is in town, and then go from there. You know. Yeah, if we, if we do happen to get a giant pumpkin, then I could always just break it and see, and then if we get farming XP, we reset. The, one, the only thing I know really about giant crops is that they're always going to be uh, regular quality, which is the, the big stinker that makes it makes them very useless for quality crops bundles, but it is, uh, it is the truth, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll just use a seed maker for future rare seeds. We only need two, right? We need one for the, uh... We want, need one for Old Master Cannoli, and we need one for... Shipping? That should, should be all we need. That is correct. We are aiming for quality crop bundles. Or the quality crop bundle. The one bundle that was... That stymied us during the no-level of challenge so, so long ago. A, a fleeting vanishing four years ago. Now is uh Now we finally get to make a make amends and make closure with that. Make our peace. Look at all these little forgeables, by the way. Holy. But if I have that as my next goal, then I'll have to go forward another year instead of uh instead of buying two. I'm willing to take that bet. I'm willing to look the game dead in the eye and say, you're not brave enough to give me uh, two Sweet Gem Berry goals, the only two Sweet Gem Berry goals back-to-back -back as my next goals. Ain't no way. I guess I wouldn't need to be back-to-back -back in order to still be uh, a problem, but... <laughs> I'm going to call the game's bluff on that one. Alright. So, Friday. Friday we'll need to head out. Friday or... Well, I guess, yeah, just Friday. Because she always sells the, the rare seed, right? The rare seed is is available for sale no matter what. It's just that there are chance, there's a chance for it to be sold at a lower price if, it's, uh, if you catch it on the right day. I believe that is the case. Yeah, only the rare seeds are sold, not the berries themselves. Is today corn day, or is it one more day? I honestly don't know. I should have paid more attention to, to when this happens. It's corn day! Can we get some corn emojis in chat? Corn emojis? If such a thing even exists? This has got to be our five, fifth quality corn. It's got to be part of this. Welcome on in, Switch Glitch. You made it at a great time. We are, uh... We are on our, working our way, slowly but surely, towards our final goal, pre-Ginger Island. Alright, you guys, you take care of that. I'll just go down here and take care of these for right now. Don't mind me. One day we'll have to come up with names for all these Junimos. How many Junimos are there to a hut? Is it always three? I believe, it. based on what I can see here, it seems to... It seems to typically be three at the very least. Yo, they're vibing. They they love these corn plants. 
Cool. I'll go back for more water. Corner moment. <laughs> Thank you for getting those hops. I appreciate you. And I believe that's all the corn as well. All right, moment of truth after we finish watering all these. Did we get the fifth quality corn? We did. We got exactly one quality corn. That is two-thirds of the quality crops bundle now taken care of. We also have two ancient fruit in here. It's, it's We're looking pretty good. Honestly, I think at this point, I say thank you, Junimos, for your service. I, I'll see you again in the fall. And I think we just sleep the rest of the summer away. We sleep the rest of the summer away, and then we'll pick up our fall seeds. I mean, we gotta, we, we'll stop on Friday to get the rare seed at the Traveling Merchant. And then uh, from there... It's, it's pumpkin time, baby. Oh, I see the little muscle down here as well. No worries, Miss Palindrome. I I could have I could have very easily forgotten the rare seed. I mean, I, I still could. There's still a chance, but just don't let me sleep past that day and it'll be all right. Do my animals have enough hay? I believe so. I think we're still well stocked on hay. I'll, I'll double check when we go out on the first of uh, fall, though. Or I guess I can check on when we go out on Friday as well. We'll be passing by the silo anyway. All right, off to bed with you, Beatrix. They should have more than enough right now because they've been uh, every day that I've been going out and watering is plenty of time for them to go out and eat some of the grass, right? So. Real quick, just stock up on that. Get some new cherry wine on the go. Get our screenshot. And uh, you know what? We'll go water pie as well. We've been doing a lot of watering of the crops. We gotta water the, water the cat every now and again. Imagine if the seed maker turns the sweet gem berry into mixed seeds. Imagine if it turns it into an ancient seed. I'd be even more mad. Because then it's like we hit like the super rare chance for it to become an ancient seed. And, and we have to reset. And it's like, why would you do that to me? It's just, it's just, that's just mean at that point. I have been thinking ahead a little bit to when we actually get to Ginger Island and what the best approach to the Blue Discus is going to be. Because like I said, there is that one spot on the uh, northern part of the island. We only need one Golden Walnut to actually make it to that region. And the Blue Discus is catchable there. There is, there is a spot to catch it. However, the odds of actually hooking it are pretty low and we're likely to get a decent amount of trash instead. So I'm trying to think, it, would it be worth it? Or would it be, it's, it's probably not in the spirit of the challenge to like get enough golden walnuts to get the island farmhouse and or, and like unlock that, or not even just the island farmhouse, but to unlock the like western portion of the island. That's probably not in the spirit of the challenge. There is technically no goal that says I can't. Like there are goals to enter the walnut room and there's a, there's a goal after that. Oh, we are running a little low on hay actually. Do I have any hay stockpiled? Have a look here. Uh, oh yeah, we still got plenty. Okay. Just gonna. You know what? I'll restock it down here. <laughs> you guys, you guys enjoy. Do we get the island house to reset more easily? That is one consideration as well. Is that uh, if we could reset from the island itself, then it would be better. But even if we just got like the western side unlocked, then the odds of catching a blue discus there are significantly higher. So the amount of resets we would need is uh, would be would be a lot lower. That said, I can't shake the feeling that it just it just feels wrong. It just feels wrong to get more golden walnuts to make the goal easier when the goal is technically still possible without with only like one golden walnut to our name. All right, quick little debris check of Cinder Sap Forest while we're down here anyway. Kind of miserable chopping just a bunch of sticks out in the out in a thunderstorm like this. Sorry, Beatrix, but gotta do what you gotta do. 
It's the same as some XP, but not for level one. It is like a similar concept for sure. It's, it's like the same as that. It's the same as, you know, donating stuff to the museum without actually fully completing it. So it's it's really just my in my own head. But, and it, it, it will save us time to just like bite the bullet and get the Island West unlocked and then do it that way. How many walnuts do you actually need to unlock West Ginger Island? It's not too many, right? I want to say it's like 10, like 15 or 20. Maybe it's even less than that. I don't know, but. Ten? Ten sounds plausible. All right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> is, is it obvious that I'm just putting off buying stuff at the traveling cart because I don't want to destroy the sanctity of this challenge, even though it is a necessary evil that we knew we were going to have to confront eventually? I just, I just wasn't ready. I didn't even think this this far ahead that I would need the rare seed. And now here we are. By the way, holy moly, <laughs> that's a lot of a lot of debris blocking off uh, the secret woods now. All right. Sneak on over here real quick. See if I can just clear out the last little bit that I can reach. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to actually get through there anymore right now with uh, with the way that debris is set up. Not even with a chair. All right. Everyone look away. Please look away for, for just like a minute or two. Maybe even less than that. Only like 10 seconds. All right. I'm taking a deep breath. This feels so wrong, but we got to do what we got to do. Hey, if you could just like drop those rare seeds outside your window, I would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. What, you, what else do you have here? Iridium ore, wood fence. You taunt me. You taunt me with your pub tables. 750,000 almost exactly. Ah! All right. Physically painful, but we, we got it done. We got it done. Rare seed has been purchased. Band-aid, exactly. Just rip off the band-aid. Get it done. And we're never, we're never going to see that lady again for the rest of our natural born lives. <laughs> you blinked once. What did you miss? We found, we happened to find this rare seed while we were perusing Cindersap Forest. Must be just like an extremely low percentage chance, but it was just like on the ground. It was great. All right, and off to bed once more. Store the rare seed for for fall here. Put all that away. And we're off to bed. Lock it in. Super rare. So crazy. I mean, with how often we get the, the rare green moonlight jelly, it shouldn't be that surprising. But it is still, you know, I mean, luck is on our side on that one for sure. All in the day's work for for young young lady Beatrix here, though. Twice as rare as the living hat. No way! I you telling me I burn my living hat luck on on something like that? I would take two living hats over a single rare seed. Beatrix isn't natural born. She was made in the character creator. That's not the true lore, Alex. That's not the true. That's the meta lore. But the true lore is that. Uh, she was born in Chicago, I guess. I don't know. I just made that up right now. Chicago is now officially canon in Stardew Valley. You heard it here first. What are the percentage chances of the jelly command again? It should be a one in a thousand for the rare green jelly in command in chat. Beatrix lore drop. N new lore just dropped. All right. Everyone say goodbye to summer and into fall. This is the season. This is the this is the season. Wait, what? Miss Palindrome screaming wait. Wait for the Junimos to harvest. Why? I don't need the I don't need the crops. Do they have anything left to harvest? Nah, they're fine. All right. Monday has arrived. Monday, the first of fall. We got a lot on our plate today. 
we have a lot, a lot on our plate. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and prepare the field for what we need to do. Um, I guess I can bring the I can bring the rare seed down right now. Because that's the one that I can actually plant right now. Uh, we'll bring down the quality retaining soil as well. Bring down quality fertilizer. Um, well, I guess I won't bring the quality fertilizer just yet. I'll bring it when I actually go and put the pumpkins in. You can refill at the sink. <laughs> the day I learned in Stardew Valley. You certainly can refill at the sink. You'd be surprised the number of different places you can you can refill your watering can at. All right, let's quickly pop in here. Crops have died. It's unfortunate, but it's uh, it's just the way of the way of the world. Most of them are are no longer with us. All right, let's clear out what grass I can here, or what grass I need to. Also, how this who put this who let this stone in here? Who let this stone in here, chat? What the heck? I didn't even realize that could happen. <laughs> I mean, I should have. I should have thought of that, actually. I should have thought ahead to this debris um, and, like, planted a bunch of grass down here, maybe. But, you know, this is just the cost of doing business. The, these, This mining experience is going to add up eventually. We're already at four mining experience unnecessarily, but it is what it is, I'm afraid. You can refill at fish ponds, yeah. Which sounds gross, but it honestly is probably pretty good for the crops. I imagine the the, the minerals involved in, in fish ponds would be decent for, for crop growth. That's just my wild speculation, though. You can't refill in the barn slash coop. There is like a little water trough in there that you cannot refill from. You're absolutely right. That one always has bugged me a little bit, for sure. I wonder if you could, like, if you could get to the into the spa with your, like, your watering can available to you, which I don't think you can, but if you could, do you think you'd be able to refill with the with the spa water? Junimos taking a well-deserved day off. Mad respect to the Junimos. Keeping a, a good work-life balance. Can you sword glitch into the spa? I don't know. I think you used to be able to. Or was it you used to be able to sword glitch out of the spa and, like, keep the recovery effect from, like, within the spa water while you, like, wandered around the rest of the valley doing whatever so you could, like, kind of have infinite energy that way? Uh, I don't know why I tossed the clay instead of the stone. That's just... That was just bad on my part. All right. Rare seed, you're going right here next to the... Uh, next to the ancient fruit. And you'll be watered, thusly. Alright, we'll water... I guess I might as well just water everything while I'm here. Get it taken care of. Or maybe... You know what? I actually am not going to water everything while I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and buy the seeds, because that's that's more time-limited than the watering process is. Hey there, Argon Gamer. Good to see you. Just imagine the Junimos all sleeping kind of against and on top of each other, and it's so cute. A little Junimo slumber party. I'm here for that. I imagine a Junimo hut is, like, way bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, you know? It's probably one of those kind of buildings. It just strikes me as that. All right, clear out all the inventory, and let's go buy all the seeds we need. I only need 40 total seeds, so my farm area is going to look interesting. I only need 40 total seeds, so the rest of it's going to be pumpkins, is what you're telling me. That should, that should be plenty of pumpkins for, for our quality crops, then. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't even know how many tiles I have available to me, so I'm just going to buy, like, a lot of stuff. Alright, let's see. Um, So I do have... Let's see. I do have over here Miss Palindrome's list of fall crops that I would need to purchase right now. 
all the ones that should be required for our perfection needs in the future. So what do we need? For fall, we need two bok choy, so we'll get five bok choy, three eggplants, so we get five eggplants, three amaranth, we get five amaranth, five cranberries, so we'll get five cranberries, uh, three yams, five yams, six pumpkins, hold off on that for a hot minute. The beets are out in uh, the desert. You need 12 beets. I guess for the casino, you need 10, so... Uh, artichoke seeds, you need three, so we take five of those. Two fairy roses, yup, yup, five fairy roses, fairy seeds, perfect. Um, a single grape. I mean, I could just forage the grape realistically, but we'll go, we'll go with five grapes, why not? No one, no one actually grows grapes in this game. And, uh, I needed pumpkins now. Pumpkins? How do we feel about... 75 pumpkins. Maybe overkill. Maybe. All right, and let's go to the desert as well to buy those beet seeds, and then we should be good to go. Thank you again to Miss Palindrome for putting together that uh, lovely, lovely list. If only I had an easy way to get to the desert. I know, right? Well, Pam's are, Pam will already be at the bus, so we can just... Uh, <laughs> we don't have to wait any, any time here. Just pay our 500 gold fee, and then... Oh, wait! Didn't I, didn't I work really long and really hard for something that can instantly teleport me to the desert? Sunflower? We grew the sunflowers in summer. All the sunflowers that we will need. That said, I may invest in sunflower infrastructure in the future. Or for Haley, if we need, when we need to befriend Haley, so... We'll see how that goes. But for now, we're just focused on the, on the bare essentials. Alright. 15 beats, please. 15 beats, like we just got a, a lucky drop in Skull Caverns. Yeah, we need 10 beats for the casino quest, and then two more beyond that, apparently. I think one for cooking and one for shipping. So 15 should be more than enough. We'll see how the rest, how the future of the challenge goes. We may uh, invest in polyculture as well. If I'm feeling a little fancy, a little bit, uh, a little bit twisted, like the challenge isn't quite hard enough, and we just need to, to add that extra little notch in there. But uh, for now, we're gonna be okay. All right. Um. Go ahead and plant. I'm gonna plant. Let's see. I should probably plant all the pumpkins first. Just get them in the ground. Get them taken care of because they're the most important by far right now. Put all these in the ground. I took them and put them in the ground. What you think? I'm a farmer? I got Junamos. Please. You can't buy me, Joja man. Actually, you can though. It's the thing. All right. Um. Not the most, you know, symmetrically pleasing of pumpkin patterns, but there it is. All right. I'm going to go grab the... Well, well, we'll plant the rest of this stuff while we're here. There we go. Five grapes right there. Um, the beets. Drop the beets. Lest we forget, it's also debris day today. All right. Um... So I don't actually need to plant all 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 these. We don't have enough space, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant. We'll just start with like planting like two of each. We'll do a like, little little thing of cranberries right there, because I remember I needed five cranberries anyway. So uh, the yams, plant all five yams. Why not? Plant my. Plant like two fairy roses right there. We need to save one seed packet of fairy roses, right? Whereas fairy, fairy rose isn't required for uh, for the tub of flowers. I think I remember that from from Wickedy's seed show, Speedy Seed Show. And two more eggplants. Why not? That works. All right. Let's go get our tools back and fertilize and water.
Why did I plant all the pumpkins before planting all the other crops? To give myself the highest possible chance, the, the greatest likelihood of getting all five quality uh, pumpkins that we need. Don't get me wrong, I think based on, you know, based on the numbers, I did my tools backwards. Not again. Uh, based on the number of quality melons that we got, we should not have a problem getting all the quality pumpkins that we need. But I just want to be extra sure. I don't I don't want to have to stress about it, you know? I need three amaranth, but I only planted two. You're right. Rip. Oh well. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not even worried about it. What are the odds we need amaranth of all things? Oh, I need the fertilizer. Fertilizer. Probably the most important part, honestly. Well, the watering is more important, but the fertilizer is a close second. I could take down a few corn. Alright, you sold me. Uh, where are the amaranth seeds? I'm going to plant all the rest of them. There will be plenty of time in the month for a second planting. But I'm so excited to get to Ginger Island. You think I can think... You think I'm going to go for a second round of crop harvesting? When Ginger Island is, is there ready and waiting? Do you not know me by now? <laughs> I've waited so long for this moment. You can't, you can't, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I got no time. I got no patience left in me for a second harvest of crops. I'm sorry to inform you. Not when Ginger Island is so close. Okay, I think that is all of the, uh, I believe that's all of the pumpkins fertilized. Fertilized a little bit of amaranth, too, here as well. Why not? You're talking about the amaranth? Ah, I see. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> That's reasonable. Let's water the pumpkins first. Don't be silly. Starting to feel exhausted. That's all right. We have salads aplenty for this exact purpose. How much hardwood do we have? We have, like, 215, I want to say. We, we did the hard, hardwood bombing run already. It's all well taken care of. Does the placement of this bag on the Junimo hut bother anyone else? I don't want to be smirched the Junimo hut, but it's like clipping kind of weirdly over the top, <laughs> over top of the crops. And it's like one of those things that like Stardew is such a polished game that you don't normally see stuff like that. And it's like, it's throwing me for a loop, dude. Probably not gonna have time to clear much debris, if any, amongst uh, all the water or after all the watering here. So we'll probably have to save debris day until tomorrow. Better that it doesn't block crops. I would honestly, I mean, I would, I would take that spot being blocked for crops for more realism. But I know I'm a weirdo like that. The bag is just showing you that the Junimos have harvested. It's supposed to stand out. Shows, shows what I know about game design, I guess. <laughs> Having such a low quality watering can is rough. What'd you say about my watering can? This watering can is a seasoned veteran of the trade. Look at how much watering it's doing. It can it can contend with the with the copper and steel variants like the rest of them. Don't the Junimos have a little light in their house? I've never seen that, I don't think. I I didn't even realize. Did that just like turn on or was that has that always been there? I swear I swear that was not there. <laughs> they got a little like night light going on. I love it. It comes on at night. That's so cute. Are the Junimos afraid of the dark? It's honestly, like, same. I can, I can relate. I used to be a lot more afraid of the dark than I am now. I would say I'm not really that afraid of the dark anymore, but as a kid, 
Absolutely, I fell into that stereotype hook, line, and sinker. But being afraid of the dark is definitely, like, one of the most natural fears, right? There's a reason it's such, like, a, a stereotypical fear. It's because it's, like, a, it's a pretty reasonable fear. If it's dark, you don't know what's out there. You don't know what's what's coming to get you. Don't know if there's any, uh... Any rogue serpents lurking out in the distance. Waters corn before watering beets. Priorities 100% straight. I w I knew I was gonna have time to water all of them regardless. Don't don't get on my case like that. I was gonna water all of them. I was gonna water all of them, and we did with time to spare. In fact, now we go to bed. We do we clear our debris tomorrow, and uh, and go on with our lives. Yes, and we get rain. Oh my gosh! If if it could rain for a solid like seven days straight. I mean, that's probably asking a bit too much. If it could rain for, like, one more day after this, just give us a little back-to-back -back rain action. That would be greatly appreciated. I thought that was a tree. It turns out it was a fiber. You'll need a boat. Where we're going, we're going to need a bigger boat. By the way, a little bit of seaweed here. I'll take it. Ooh, supply crates as well. What is this? <laughs> it's like a forest spirit manifested at the at the shrine and like started walking away and then vanished into the great beyond or something. But that's those fiber tell a story right there. I'm gonna go clear up my inventory a little bit. This is Lambda's doing. <laughs> It's the work of Lambda. It is, it is, you know, it is Lambda propaganda a little bit. It is that exact same conga line formation. You're not wrong. Once you start looking for it, you'll see it everywhere. Just, just, just constant diagonal conga lines. It's like the Illuminati triangle. 13 days for pumpkins? That sounds correct, yeah. I mean, I should know. I, I I have over, like, 1,500 hours in Stardew Valley. That said, ask me how much of that time was plant, spent uh, farming. <laughs> and the answer is good. The answer will shock you. Stardew Valley speedrunners hate them. No, they don't. But it's just it's for the memes. What is going on here? We need to clear this a little bit just so the animals can, can actually get outside. Don't want to risk anything silly happening there. How much of that time was spent on this file? Exclamation point playtime. Well, exclamation point playtime, it's a bit inaccurate in this case, because the exclamation the playtime listed in that command is um is like the total runtime of all the streams as well as all the off-camera grinding that I've done. The actual playtime of the challenge, according to the game, like time spent in the game which does not include time for, like, resets and other stuff like that and research spent, is closer to, I want to say, like, 95 hours. But it's up there. It's, it's certainly up there. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at our hardwood forest. It is flourishing. Will that tree be able to grow? Honestly, could not tell you. One day too long for Abigail's birthday. That's the easiest way to remember it, because she do be loving those pumpkins. Fifteen hundred hours is is a is kind of an underestimate given the playtime on this farm alone. I honestly haven't looked at the actual like Steam playtime that I have on Stardew Valley in a long time. Fifteen hundred is kind of a guess. Let me uh let me go. I'm gonna go actually check that. You know what? It's been a minute since I've checked my official Steam playtime. Let me go see if I can load up Steam and like find that out. Just just out of curiosity, you know. Oh gosh. 
Uh, hey, did you know today is National Donut Day, by the way? Apparently. I don't know why that popped up on my screen, but can we get some donut emojis in chat? Let's see. Library, Stardew Valley. Where are we at down here? Come on. Stardew Valley, currently running. Okay. And I now know the number of hours I have played. Any guesses? Any guesses in chat? Closest without going over wins. Just kidding. You can you can go over, but and there's and there's no prize. The game where the points don't matter. 1690, 2000, 6900, 6000, 2600, 789, 1750, 22, 22, 986, 3, 3, Lot, Lots of you guys are over overshooting it by a little bit. The correct answer is 1616. 1616. That is the current number of, uh, of hours spent in Stardew Valley for me. Don't I need 150 hardwood for the house upgrade? Correct, yes. But I'm not planning on upgrading my house anytime soon. The game if the game wants to give me craft a keg as my next goal, then so be it. We'll figure it out. But until such a time arrives, I'm I'm willing to prune my hardwood forest a little bit, because I find it more satisfying to have a a pruned forest than a than a wild one. No more? <laughs> we, we do be living in an age where you say, I have 1,600 hours in this game, and people will be like, that's it? It's still not the most hours I have in any game on Steam, though. L lore aficionados of the channel will probably be able to tell you which game I have more hours in, than Stardew Valley in. But uh, it might be... It, that would, if it, that might be like a a higher a higher tier trivia question. Yeah, the Binding of Isaac, specifically the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, not the original Isaac. I think in the original Isaac, I probably have like 150 hours. In Rebirth, I want to say I have like 2,300. It just took me that long to like to, to ultimately among between like all the like the expansions, the DLC, and all the all that stuff that that, that Rebirth had. It took me that long to achieve everything. Plus, I just like played a lot of it for fun in my off time back in the day. So, nine thousand one hundred twenty-six in Stardew is what is what your Steam file tells you. Lisa, have you ever left Stardew running in the background while you do other things? Because that can definitely inflate that time if you're uh, if that is the case, that's what that probably that's what that tells me. Otherwise, you just live and breathe Stardew more than anyone else I know, which is also respectable. All the time, there you go. There's your answer. <laughs> you have ten thousand hours on Steam Stardew Valley, but that was from the summer you left it open basically twenty four seven. Yep, that accounts for that. Did we refill the silos? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'll double check, but. Four sixty three out of four eighty. Yeah, we should be good for the next little while, at least until we get to Ginger Island and probably a little bit beyond that. Now, how old was the Binding of Isaac? The original Binding of Isaac, I want to say, came out in like twenty ten, so it's pretty old. As as like a concept, it might even be older than that. Either way, I think Debris Day is done. I've just been dilly dallying a little bit, trying to make sure we get caught up here. There we go. Quick check over here just to make absolutely sure. I think I already got behind here, but all right. Debris day officially locked and loaded. Put all that away. Get ourselves a new cherry for the keg. And we're off to bed. Back to the crop sleeping grind. Oh, sorry, Pi. I <laughs> didn't even see you there. You have no idea how many hours you played in Stardew because you played on three different platforms and you're not checking each one individually. 
Ugh, math. Yo, we did get the two rain days in a row. Chat, can we make it three? Can we make it three with the uh, with the little rain cloud emoji luck? I think there's a chance, honestly. Double rain days back to back to back. Let's make it happen. I'm gonna take a hydration break while while the rain cloud emojis roll in. Check the weather. I will check the weather with my eyeballs when I wake up tomorrow. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Alright, three days I guess was a little greedy. It was a little greedy, but that's okay. Chat, in honor of International Donut Day, what is your favorite type of donut? There are so many different types of donuts now, I don't even... There's probably more types of donuts than any other baked good in history, I would say. I would hazard, I would hazard that guess. I don't think that's a, uh, that's a ludicrous statement. Custard cream filled? I am a Boston cream fan myself, yeah. Like, like chocolate glazed on top with a little custard filling in the center. Ooh! Apple fritter, fritters, apple cider donuts. Best thing about donuts, like having like a best thing, best thing about this question, I should say about favorite donuts. I don't think there's a wrong answer. I think every donut is good. I've never eaten a donut that I do not want to interface with again. Even like there's like coffee flavored donuts, and I'm not a I'm not a huge coffee fan. I don't really drink coffee, but the coffee flavored donuts they hit different. I tell I tell you that for sure. Apple pie filling is ama is amazing. Berry glaze. Probably my lowest tier donut is a jelly, like a jelly filled donut, like a powder donut with like jelly in the middle is not really my preference most of the time. That said, I, I will still eat it happily. You don't care for coffee either, so you're not the only one. It's weird. It's, it is one of those things that I, I don't like the coffee, but I do tend to enjoy coffee flavored things from time to time, like coffee crisp, coffee flavored donuts. It's, uh, it's surprising the amount of stuff I can still enjoy on that front. Tiramisu? Tiramisu, absolutely, yeah. I am a noted tiramisu enjoyer. Berliners are your fave? They're pink? Are they like a pink glazed donut? Or just are they pink for some other reason? that I should be concerned about. Some of the best donuts you ever had came from Peace. Peace, wait, Peace, Love, and Little Donuts. That sounds, that sounds delicious. Unfortunately, then you learned that the owner funds homophobia. You had me in the first half, not gonna lie. That's the, that's the, the shortest tragic tale I've ever heard. They always gotta ruin a good thing, don't they? Coffee flavored things taste how coffee smells while coffee tastes like coffee. I think that honestly is the reasoning. Yeah. Coffee smells like amazing. It literally smells like heaven. But then you like taste it, and it's one of the greatest taste to smell discrepancies in in modern culinary in the modern culinary art form. It is so bewildering how different coffee tastes versus its smell. I don't understand how it works. Starting to feel exhausted. I can fix that one for you, Beatrix. No worries, no worries. Do eclairs count as donuts, or are eclairs like their own entity? They're, they're certainly donut adjacent. But whether they actually classify as a donut, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> is, a, is a contentious opinion, I would probably say. I'm not saying that a donut necessarily has to be, you know, like, a round pastry, like a circular pastry, but I'm not, not saying that either. The Claire's are just pastry. The Claire's are made from shoe pastry. 
That's I, that's not right. They don't taste like leather at all. It's a bad joke. I'm sorry. Like leather, like shoes. Or is it shoe or is it chew? Either way, I like to chew pastry. I like to chew, chew pastry. Is shoe pastry just like... I mean, I, I don't know really how to describe it, but I guess it's just the pastry that an eclair is made of is the best way to probably describe it. It's like that, like, nice flaky... whatever it is. Because I'm definitely a big fan of eclairs. I don't have an opportunity to enjoy them all that often. I've never, I very rarely actually, like, see them or go out of my way to buy them myself, but um, when I do get the chance... I'll, I'll gorge myself on them and nothing else. If, if they're at, like, some kind of buffet or something, you gotta hold me back, because I'm gonna be... I, I'm, gonna, I'm taking the whole plate back to... back to my uh, table. And you can't stop me. You'd unsub just for that pun? What do you mean? What do you mean? I only made a shoe once for cream puffs, but it was good. I did make cream puffs one time, actually. I've done very little baking in my life, which is uh, ironic, considering... Well, not ironic, but I did want to be a baker when I was growing up. I had aspirations of, of baking. It was probably... It's the first, like, career aspiration that I ever remember having. Is wanting to be a baker. I couldn't exactly tell you why. I think I just love, like... I love the look of baked goods. I, and I love that they, I love how they taste, don't get me wrong, but like the aesthetic of baked goods, like cakes and pastries and, and all these various things, bread. It's just, it's just a nice aesthetic. Like I always imagined how fun it would be to own like a little bakery out in the countryside or something like that and just uh, enjoy the, the smells of fresh bread all day. Mm. Even now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, man. I should get into baking a little bit more. And I absolutely prefer baking to cooking because like cooking is a uh, cooking is less of an exact science than baking is. Like when it comes to cooking, like there are recipes obviously and you got to follow them like generally, but you, there's a lot more room for for improvisation. Im imp why did I pr pronounce it like that? Improvisation. There's a lot more room for improvisation when it comes to cooking. Like, you can add your own to flair to various recipes, and it's probably not going to mess things up too bad. Whereas, um, with baking, if you don't follow the letter, the, like, the exact letter of the recipe, then you're probably going to regret it, like, five steps down the line when it all starts falling apart, right? And that is, that's honestly why I like baking. I like being able to, like, follow a recipe and, like, I'm a very mathematically oriented person. My brain just kind of works that way a lot better than it does with cooking where I have too much creative freedom and I get overwhelmed by the possibilities. Not to say you don't get to be creative with baking as well. It's just you get to be creative in, like, a different way. I feel like a lot of the time that, uh, that baking... The creativity comes out after you've actually baked the thing and you get to, like, decorate it or whatever. Like, when it comes to cakes and stuff especially. Cakes and cupcakes and all that good stuff. You can mess, mess around with a lot of stuff in baking recipes. You just need to know what you can and can't mess around with. Maybe that's why I like it so much. It's similar to, like, grammar in that way. Or, like, language. Whereas, like, like any writer will probably tell you. Any writer who's, like, had some experience will tell you that it's important to know the rules of grammar and the rules of writing as, a, like, a foundation so that you can break them effectively. And I guess baking is much the same way, based on how you describe it there. The Binding of Isaac Perfection stream when? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't say no to playing some Isaac on stream. That said, I don't know if I can go through the, the process of getting Dead God, which is 100% in the Binding of Isaac all over again. That is a monumental undertaking. Of course, there are three, uh... There are three save files, and I've only completed one of them.
Yeah, it's definitely a big reason why I love writing too, is that you can like what now like I feel like I have a pretty firm grasp on uh most of the most of the rules of writing, even a lot of the more like obscure ones. So now I know like when I do want to break the rules of writing and you do it like in an, eff an effective way, then I can feel safe and comfortable in doing so. And there's a certain like power in that that I enjoy. Or like it's like a power of like not I don't want to say mastery because that's like inflating my my ego too much, but it's there's some uh, some correlation there for sure. How's my writing career going? I mean, calling it a career is uh, generous. <laughs> I haven't written much of anything in a very long time, to be honest with you. I've been too focused on other pursuits to really do much in the way of writing. I still write little short stories every now and again just to keep myself sharp, keep my wits about me. Because other otherwise, the only writing that I'm doing is like when I'm writing descriptions for like YouTube streams and 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 writing little blurbs to like advertise my stream when I'm sending it out on Discord or whatever, which is certainly not uh, the same as you know traditional like writing a writing of a story or anything like that. But yeah, I do I do write little short stories and just snippets from time to time. I ba basically what I do, here's how my writing process tends to go these days. I have like a world, like an established kind of world in my brain. And I'll just like go into that world from time to time when I feel the need to like escape. And I'll just like go to like a place in that world. Like this is a world of like concepts and ideas and places and themes and people and all that stuff that I've built up over many, many years of just like imagining it and writing stuff about it. And I just like go to a place in that world and, fi and find something to write about. It's like its own little, it's like its own separate reality inside my brain is the best way I can describe it. Mind palace? In a way, it's like, it's more like a mind universe than, than a mind palace. There are palaces within the palace. And that's kind of my, uh, my process. The Argon verse. Your cousin is a writer and is very secretive about her published books. Our family has a theory that she writes fan fictions. More power to her if she does, honestly. Fan fictions is a great, uh... Is a great way to train those writing muscles. And even if you like just want to write fan fiction forever and never actually go beyond that, then that's totally fine too. That's where you find the joy in life. Go all out. Go off, kings and queens. You God, you wish you could have a visual visual imagination. The fact that everyone doesn't have a visual imagination is something that I like have a hard time wrapping my head around. Because that's the way my imagination has always been. I'm like, I, I have a highly visual imagination. Like, if you just like describe anything, basically, like any kind of scene, no matter how ludicrous it might be, I can probably imagine it. I can like, my brain can just piece together a picture in my mind. Like, I wouldn't be able to like transcribe that picture onto a, uh, into like a visual medium that other people can see. That's a, that's an entirely different skill set, but it, it just breaks my brain, and that's not how it works for everybody. I guess I'm just one of the lucky, uh, one of the lucky ones. Your sister and your childhood best friend both have mind worlds like that? You tried so hard, but you could never make one? Think your brain doesn't want to work that way? I had I had a different one when I was a kid. Actually, I had a different uh, like mind world, or for lack of a better term, and uh, I still draw inspiration from that one from time to time. But it's a distinctly different place than uh, the one that exists in my brain most often nowadays. That one was called Imagination Land because I'm so creative. <laughs> All right, I gotta be careful there. I'm just gonna water my my pumpkins for right now. 
while I wait for the Junimos to, to finish harvesting those. I don't want to... I don't have my futon bears to protect me right now. I gotta be careful. You've gotten very good at faking a good visual imagination? How does that even work? Like... Because, like, it's not like most people are asking you, like, to imagine a certain thing from time to time. I, I, I'm i curious about that. How do you fake having a visual imagination? More power to you. I'm just curious. I don't... It's, it doesn't make sense in my brain. They got the beats. They dropped the beat, baby. 15 regular quality beats. You'll love to see it. Junimo Hut's getting kind of full, by the way. But... It's a good sign, honestly. one of the people that few people that loves writing but hasn't written any fan fiction or plans on doing so fan fiction has definitely become a lot more popular in the cultural zeitgeist like these past few years i think uh much like a lot of spaces online covid kind of had a lot to do with that with fostering different fan fiction communities that people were like trapped inside and people who had been putting off like ideas for things that they wanted to do now had the time to do it or then had the time to do it so they were able to to act on those impulses, and fan fiction communities blossomed as a result. And the rest is history, you know. But if you don't have a desire to write fan fiction, then then don't <laughs> just just write original fiction. For a lot of people, writing fan fiction is a lot easier because it's they it's already writ writing in an established world, and there's a lot less uh, work you have to do to actually like build a. A following necessarily like people who are already in that same fandom as you you can just like cater the the fiction towards them it's just a, it's a lower barrier to entry as well because like obviously you don't have to like worry about it, trying to get it published or anything or even doing like self-publishing which is a lot more common these days but even that still takes like some work to to go about less exposition necessary that's also very true yeah because like you go you go into a fan fiction with the base assumption that your readers are at least like mod moderately familiar with the uh, with the thing they're reading. Because like most fan fiction readers, you're not going to go out seeking a fan fiction of a, of a property that you've never interfaced with. Like I'm not about to go uh, spend a thousand hours reading Genshin Impact fan fiction or something like that because I've never I've never experienced the universe. And none of those stories would make any sense to me. Is that everything watered? I think so. It gets harder to tell once you don't have to just, like, water everything. Because, like, when you have to water everything, I can just, like, turn my brain off and just, like, go row by row kind of thing. But when, when there's, like, some empty spaces there, for some reason my brain, like, works extra hard to make sure I'm not watering excessively. You absolutely read fanfic from fandoms you haven't gotten in the canon of? Maybe that's just me, then. I don't know. I feel like I would just be, like, way too confused. There are probably, like, other like certain fanfictions that are, like, good for people who aren't that familiar with the, uh, with the canons. Like, ones that are easier to, to wrap your mind around, even if you've never interfaced with the property before. There's definitely fanfictions like that, but I don't, th I don't think that's the norm. Ooh, a little more corn. Get some corn emojis in chat for the Junimos. Doing doing the corners work. You're super into AU and weird plot stuff. At that point, yeah, it's it's uh it doesn't matter nearly as much if you're like into alternate universe kind of things. Because then it, it starts to coincide a lot more with original fiction and the uh the tr the tenets of traditional writing than it does with uh your more garden variety fan fictions, I suppose. What's wrong with corner? These Ju they're, these Junimos are corning so hard right now. Welcome on in, Lena. Good to see you. It just makes just seeing them dance amongst those little corn stalks over there. It just makes you want to take a little screenshot, do a meme, little meme template, put some like impact font over it. it says corning intensifies. 
It's perfect. I know this is not going to be the case, by the way, but I was, I'm like, I'm just thinking ahead to like when winter eventually strikes and how the Junimos are going to react to winter. I think Junimo huts in winter just like literally don't do anything, right? Because there's no crops to harvest. Um, maybe, maybe you could plant fiber seeds and maybe they'd harvest those. But what I want to see in my heart of hearts is during the winter, the Junimos take their well-deserved time off. And they're just out here, like, wearing little Junimo scarves and building, like, babe, the, like tiny little snowmen out in the fields. Could you imagine? It would be an absolute cuteness overload. I wouldn't even be able to handle it. I would be so in love. Keep doing the corner joke and we'll put you in the corner. You, you'll what? <laughs> Junimos with tiny steaming mugs. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop. <laughs> Little steaming mugs of hot chocolate for the Junimos. Oh my gosh. It's too perfect. Alright, is that everything watered? It seems to be. It seems to me that it seems to be. They lock the door and hibernate. More power to them. They're working hard out here in the fields. Harvesting all that corn. Like, the corn is literally, like, twice the size of a Junimo. They got, they got that ant strength going on. All gathered around a little campfire roasting marshmallows. Makes me want to build a campfire and put it outside the Junimo hut. If only I were allowed to actually craft a campfire. Um, I need the cherries. So the pumpkins are going to be ready on the 14th, right? They take 13 days to grow, so they'll be ready on the 14th. We're not that far off. We are five days out from our pumpkin harvest. And then at that point, it's basically straight to the community center. We get our, uh, we get our preserves jars. Immediately betray the Junimos by, by popping across the river to Joja Mart. And uh, I, th I think it's going to take a few days to buy out all the JoJo stuff because you can only buy out like one bundle or one community form thing in a day, right? And shortly after that, we're on Ginger Island. We are getting perilously close to that blue discus. And I don't know if I'm ready for it. Can't wait for a new traumatic goal rolling experience. I've accepted my lot in life. Whatever this randomizer is going to give me, I know, like, like the odds are very much in our favor after we get to Ginger Island. Like, what more can this randomizer do to try and beat us down and, and, and break our spirits? Unsuccessfully, I might add. We're still very spirited. Because we'll have access to the desert, we'll have access to Ginger Island, we'll have access to, like, a Junimo hut. We have access to so much stuff at this point. Just off the back of these first three goals, there's no there's no way that like what whatever comes next could be any more traumatic, right? Gold clock. Even at this point, even the gold clock is not the worst thing. It would still be kind of a kind of a shock to the system to see it. Don't get me wrong, I don't think I'm physically, mentally, or emotionally or spiritually prepared for it. But it wouldn't be as bad as it would have, like prior to prior to having like our barn and coop and Junimo huts and everything set up, you know? But out of I mean we still have like like over like five hundred and fifty goals remaining. There's no shot that out of all of those we just happen to roll a gold clock. There's no way. Probability is on our side on that one. It, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, chat. Museum Star Drop. Museum Star Drop, I'll take. I'll take that. We've actually completed a pretty sizable chunk of the museum already. Just have to do a little artifact trove farming, and uh, and that shouldn't be the end of the world. 
I do already have a Prismatic Shard, yeah. We got one from an Omni Geode way back when. I donated that, so that's already taken care of. And even if I didn't, assuming assuming I didn't have that Prismatic Shard, it's not that hard to get them from uh, Skull Cavern Treasure Rooms now. Like I said, we've got we've got such a good base to work from at this point, such a nice infrastructure. Anyone a little concerned about this? <laughs> okay, that that goat's legs were, were looking a little bit. Uh, a little bit crooked from the back there, and I was a little concerned for a second, but I think it's fine. Junimo cart. Junimo cart to celebrate our our new Junimo brethren. I'm here for it. With so many jades, especially, absolutely, yeah. Now that we've pivoted from diamond farming back to jade farming, we are well set for another skull cavern dive in the near future. Apparently donated the one he got to keep. I did, I donated the Prismatic Shard and I would do it again. Because <laughs> at the time, that was a, that was a play to get the Crystalarium from the museum. Because we had to donate, what, 50 minerals to the, to the museum, something like that. 40 or 50 minerals, I don't remember the exact figure, to get our second Crystalarium. And that snowballed into us having like four Crystalariums now and it's just, it's all shaped, it's shaped up so nicely since then. Yo, Nock Ma Mazachowski, thank you for being a member for 10 months at the Neutron level. Finish the first two goals of your challenge last night, befriend Demetrius and ship iron. Now to figure out how to best allocate a forging level. Best of luck to you, Nock, and thank you again for the support and the generosity. Glad you're having fun with your randomizer. If it were me for the foraging levels, I would probably invest in some, uh, some of the seasonal forage for the community center. Complete some of those bundles if you can. And um, I don't know. Beyond that, I'd, I'd have to I'd have to research into what the best possible options are. You know what I did? I, I've done some some research on a few things, chat. And one thing I realized is that, um, unassuming as it may be, if rolling the water obelisk, the one that teleports you to the beach, is kind of rough. Because to build that one, you need 10 clams. And unless I'm totally missing something, the only way to get those clams is to forage them. So you need to you need to allocate, if, if you're at foraging level zero, allocating 70 foraging experience to, to that alone is, uh, it's a tough sell and it, I don't see a way around it. So that's uh, I, I mean I think I think if I were to get it, I still have enough leeway and forging experience that it would be okay. Throw the clams into a fish pond. I don't think clams work in a fish pond because they're they're not actually fish. They're like the the homes of previous fish. Clams are also crab pod items. I guess you could divide. Well, no, because you wouldn't. Because catching a clam is its own goal, so you wouldn't be able to do that either. So that's not an option. I think, right? Yeah, because it's, it's part of the fishing collection. Maybe? No, no, it's part of the shipping collection. I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, shipping a clam is required, but fish... Okay, maybe you could catch a clam then? That might be another way to go about it. You could, like, do some fishing experience and some, uh... Some shipping experience. Some shipping experience. Some foraging experience. Trust me, I have plenty of shipping experience from my time writing fanfiction. Alright, um, are we all watered here? I think we're good to go. Yeah, that might be the way to do it, is to do some foraging experience and some fishing experience, just to, you know, split the difference. But at the end of the day, if you had to gain a foraging level, that is technically, there's an exception written into the rules of the challenge specifically for that kind of uh, thing. It's more so, ooh, pardon me, it's more so there if you get like a bunch of fishing goals in a row and you're forced to level up that way. 
but there's no reason it shouldn't work the same for a, for a forging level if you just have to forge them. Yeah, you could get the crab pots by completing the crab pot bundle. That's the only way you could possibly have crab pots at that point, because unless you got a, uh, unless you got, you could get, if you had fishing level three before then, then I mean, then it wouldn't really be an issue because you could just catch the clams and have a lot of leeway with the experience, I imagine. But you could also just buy, even if you didn't get the craft a crab pot uh, goal, you could buy the crab pots directly from Willy at that point. Either way, there are there are ways out of it and there are ways around it, but it's like it would be it just struck me as a particularly unassuming goal for the most part that could that could prove a little bit more problematic than you might think at first blush. We should start clearing this out at some point here. We do have a mostly empty chest still just like sitting at home that I can transfer a lot of those crops to, so maybe maybe I'll do that today before the day is out. Just because, you know, I don't want the Junimos to be too cramped inside their little hut. Although, I guess all those crops are in the sack, right? They're not in the hut, so they still got plenty of space for their little Junimo bunk beds. I could plant the sunflower seeds. I could plant the sunflower seeds, but that just means more watering. I'm already doing a significant amount of watering compared to what I would want to be doing. what I even need to be doing right now. You have a way to avoid getting foraging experience for all the wild seed crops, so the remaining worries are this and Fiddlehead Fern. Yeah, Fiddlehead Fern is a... Uh, is a bit of a tricky one. Chat, can you any here's here's a here's a very I would classify this as an expert level piece of Stardew Valley trivia. Um what is the only way in Stardew Valley to get a fiddlehead fern? I'm I may be mistaken on this as well, but what's the only way in Stardew Valley to get a fiddlehead fern without foraging experience? The, as far as I know, there is exactly one way, and it is not easy to think of. <laughs> it took me a long time to figure it out when I was looking into that particular puzzle for, for other reasons. Dino levels? As far as I know, they still give you forging experience on dino levels. If they don't, then that is that's a, that's a good answer. Foraging on the on the forest in summer, I believe, still gives you foraging experience. Traveling cart, okay. Traveling cart exempted. <laughs> if traveling cart's not an option, I, I I forgot about that. Traveling cart is just a it's just a, it's a cheating answer. That's cheating. Although I should have I should have clarified that in the question itself. Cobalt cryptid. I believe that is correct. Leia can give you a fiddlehead fern if you are married to her. That's the only. That's the uh, barring the traveling cart. That's the one way. That's that's your answer. Congratulations. Is it a possible gift at the Winter Star? I don't believe so. No. Pretty esoteric. I, it's it's yeah. Like it's one of those. It's not even going to be listed on the on the wiki, at least not on the page for Fiddlehead Ferns. So, all right, let's go grab our crops and start migrating them up to the uh, up to the what you call it, the who's a it. Congrats, Blade. <laughs> uh... Now you're miffed because Leia has never given you one. Don't worry, I'm sure she. She doesn't mean anything ill by it. Yo, they they keep sunflower seeds in here too from the harvested sunflowers. Junimars are like are too great. They're so good.
People going for that 400th pet on Timbeeb. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get the 400th pet on Timbeeb? <laughs> I, see, I see the arms race for the 400th pet. I respect it. I'm going to move some of this stuff out, out of here as well. Got it. Mary Pro got the 400th pet on Timbeeb. Congratulations. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? It's you, Timbeeb. Jim B. Oh, perfect timing with the pickle jar rag, too. <laughs> Get some PJR spam in chat. PJR. I love my Junimos and their hut. It's so cute living on my farm. And it's productive, too. They harvest the crops all for me. I don't get any farming XP, and then I can finish the bundles at the community center for them. Then I will betray them all, go to Joja, build up a mall. Then we will go across the sea, catch a blue discus for me. <laughs> Why is PJR such a singable song, dude? I didn't realize how fun it is to make lyrics to that song. Me and XP was a great rhyme. That was that's the one I was proudest of. <laughs> so I saw it, I could feel it coming, and it was like, ooh, dopamine rush. All right. With all the money you have in upgraded aquarium for all your fridge fish, sounds like a lovely idea. Uh, is the upgraded, upgraded aquarium... Well, I know, like, the biggest aquarium is available only from the walnut room, right? But is, there's probably is, like, a higher tier aquarium I could get from Willy. Or maybe on Ginger Island? I don't even remember. Aquari aquariums are not my forte. Hold on. I gotta... Uh, yeah, no, I think that's good. Alright, star shards, salad, pepper poppers, good to go. You get fish tanks from the furniture catalog? Is that true? Where, where would a fish tank be in the furniture catalog? Oh! Oh, baby! Deluxe fish tank! Modern fish tank! I didn't even realize, yo! Who said that? Who said you can get them out of the furniture catalog? Cobalt Cryptid. I don't know if you're the first one to say it, but thank you. I had no earthly idea you could get this. China cabinet, too. Decorative trash can? What? I thought you had to fish these up. The only one you can't get from Chi, which is, is, is from Chi, which is the largest. Oh, that's pretty huge, though. We'll, we'll, we'll look into that in the, in the near future, especially once we get our blue discus. We need to display it prominently. Unlimited fish tanks. Unlim the furniture catalog might be the greatest purchase I've ever made. The greatest pur purchase I didn't know I needed. It's probably the best way to phrase that. Here, enjoy some water pie. One more day. Is it tomorrow or is it the 14th? Because what, let's, I mean, let me see. Where's Abigail? Abigail? I, I haven't met this person, so I don't know when her birthday is. I thought her birthday was the 13th, so that's why, like, these pumpkins don't work for her birthday, because, like, you can't you can't get them in time for her birthday. So we might need one more day after this. 13 waters. Pumpkins take 13 days. Is this the final day, then? Or is it, uh... Either way. I, either way, no, I th yeah, I think we need one more day. But you know what? Either way, we can get hyped because, like... <laughs> like, we've waited seven years. Seven, like, seven long, arduous, sleepy years. What's two more days, right? It's basically nothing. It's a drop in the pan compared to the amount of time we've spent on uh, on Fracture Farm so far. Drop in the bucket, actually. Catch me mixing my metaphors again. 
What if there's a giant pumpkin? Cross that bridge when we come to it. That's why we planted so many pumpkins, so that if there is a giant pumpkin, then we have a we have a contingency plan, you know? How much money is Joja gonna be? Not seven hundred and thirty seven thousand five hundred and fifty two dollars, I'll tell you that. The total for Joja, I think if you like buy everything from them, is like somewhere around 150,000, like 140 to 150,000. I don't remember the exact figure off the top of my head. Um, and we've already completed the boiler room and the vault, so we don't have to worry about those ones. So we have even less than that, so we should be more than fine for, for that eventuality. And we have a giant pumpkin decoration. Petition to let uh, Concerned Ape, if we if we like were to get like a giant crop, petition to let con have Concerned Ape be allow us to move our Junimo hut onto the giant crop so that the Junimos can live inside of a giant pumpkin or a giant melon or a cauliflower or what what have you. Can we please add that to the 1.6 update? I just thought of it just now and I'm already in love. Beyond that, honestly, though, um, petition to let you move giant crops as if you could move a farm building. Like, go to Robin's and have her, like, move the giant crop for you so you can move it wherever you want it. You would love Junimo doors on giant crops. It would, it would be so cute, right? It would be the perfect thing. It would, it would be the perfect little addition, I think. Write that down, write that down. Iridium Scythe, Iridium Scythe! <laughs> Seems more like the wizard's business. Either way, if one of them could move it, then I'd be I'd be here for it. Carve giant pumpkin into a Junimo house. Oh, I'm in love. Alright. Please, today of all days, I'm checking the weather. I'm checking the weather. It's a sunny day tomorrow. Rip. They could have just given me that one last little boon of rain. Don't even tell me that tomorrow is raining, by the way. Don't even tell me. Okay. I would have been very upset because Junimos don't harvest during the rain. So at least we have that going for us. At least they didn't uh, throw one last little bitty troll at the end here. Water slow, I'll be back. No worries, I got you, Lisa. Alright, final day of watering. I hear the Junimo's harvesting something down there. I could not tell you what. It's not the pumpkins, though. I think that's Junimo's harvesting, right? Yeah, it is. There's just, just one work toiling away in the fields right now. The other two are taking a little siesta, I imagine. Or is that is that two Junimos stacked right there? I think that might be two Junimos stacked. Is that, is that three Junimos stacked? <laughs> All three Junimos were just... <laughs> they were doing a little Junimo, like, uh, dog pile there. That was so cute. I've never been so excited to finish a day of watering in my life. I, I need to get through this watering, please. Junimo Congo line. Can we get some watering can emojis for the last day of, like, full watering for the foreseeable future, by the way? Watering can emojis if you got it. If you don't, then just, like, the little, like, splash emoji. Get it in while you can. While you watering can. Mom said it's my turn to harvest. So true. Because once all these pumpkins are, are grown and taken care of, that is a significant portion of watering we no longer need to do. The only real watering I'll need to do at that point, honest, to be honest with you, is the uh, is the rare seed. Because everything else has already been harvested at least once. 
I'm pretty sure. So I think we're uh, I think we're taken care of as far as everything else goes. All right, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any spots here. Once these pumpkin plants get so big, it's kind of hard to tell which uh, spots have been watered and which ones haven't. That's okay. I believe that is every spot watered right there. Maybe this one? No, I just, it's hard for me to tell. My eyes don't work sometimes. Still got spring crops. I guess we do have spring crops, yeah, for the, for the future, but that's not for the quality crops bundle. Is that everything watered? I think that is everything watered. I'm just, I just want to double and triple check. Making, making my list and checking it twice. All right. Off we go. Time for bed. Let this day be remembered in infamy. Fall 14th of year 7. We are finally, finally at the end of one of the longest grinds of the challenge up to this point. Longest as far as, you know, in-game years at the very least. Alright. Are we ready? Chad, are we ready? I'm taking a quick hydration break. I need to be ready for this. Okay. Wait, we forgot the delay check? Got me. You got me. <laughs> it's okay. We don't need to do the delay check. I can already tell the stream delay is totally fine. Off to bed. Alright. Eat up our pepper poppers for the farming buff. Right at the two hour mark. Halfway there, baby. Halfway through the stream. All right, I'm running down. The speed buff from the Pepper Poppers is just that... Beatrix is just that excited. It's not even to do with the speed buff. She's just so excited to get down here and see the Junimos at work on this beautiful little pumpkin patch. Oh my goodness. I'm down here anyway. Might as well water the non-pumpkin stuff. Just to, just to give me something to do. Otherwise, I've got anxious hands. And I'm about to go and grab one of those pumpkins for myself. No giant pumpkins, by the way. We did not get uh, ousted by the giant pumpkin. That's good, which means the odds of our uh, of our getting five gold quality pumpkins. I think it's basically a done deal. I, that said, I am gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until every last pumpkin on this screen is harvested, all of them. I don't want to. I don't want to be spoiled too soon. Come on, Junimos. Go, little Junimos, go! Can we get some pumpkin emojis in chat, please? Pumpkin emojis for the best pumpkin harvest we've ever seen. Those Junimos are so strong. Those pumpkins have to be, like, four times their weight. All the pumpkin emojis you can possibly muster, please. <laughs> pumpkin apple, I like it. Did I water the ancient fruit in the rare seed yet? These are still watered from the retaining soil, yeah. I'll double. Ch I'll do it just to be on the safe side. Go. I'm not. I'm not going to go at that side. I don't want to risk accidentally picking up a pumpkin. Picking a pumpkin patch. Picking a pipple, pickled pumpkin. Come on. Feel. Feel the breath from my from my pepper popper breakfast. Enjoy the suffusion of farming levels, my little Junimo buddies. Hello, little buddy. Six more pumpkins, five more pumpkins, and a dream. What if all five of these were our gold quality pumpkins? We hadn't gotten any until this point, and all five of those were gold quality. Thirteen gold quality pumpkins. Oh, look at look at them dancing so happily. They did such a great job. Thank you, Junimos. Thank you so much, my little Junimo friends. Five gold quality pumpkins chat we made it oh we made it let's go i'm let's not waste any more time here junimos thank you so much for your service i really really appreciate it that you don't know how valuable you've been you really really don't this is this is 
years in the making, both in real life and in the game. You guys don't understand how long I have wanted to be able to complete the quality crops bundle with zero farming experience. Well, not zero farming experience, with no with zero farming levels. To be able to complete the quality crops bundle with zero farming levels is is something I never thought I would achieve. And yet here we are. Five gold quality corn, five gold quality pumpkins, five gold quality melons. This is, this, chat, I'm gonna like cry. <laughs> I'm gonna actually, oh, this just feels so good. This feels so good. Let's, let's just, let's go do this. All this work, all this time spent to finally overcome. I have to imagine that Chloe, Chloe Prime from Lazy Farm is looking on with pride. A feeling in her heart of the, this final chapter in her life closing. Maybe not by her own hand, but off the back of the work she's done. Quality crops bundle. Here it is. Here we go. There it is. Bundle complete. Zero farming levels. Bundle complete. Give me that preserves jar. Everything for this preserves jar. All that work in the name of this one little preserves jar that we may not even end up needing. But it's the principle of the matter. It's the principle. Let's let's clean up this little mess right here. Let's make this let's make things a little more uh, reasonable because we're about to completely betray the community center now. After that highest of highs. We're gonna have to go a little bit down and dirty in the low in the low lows. Um, no, no one pay attention to what's about to happen, but it's I mean it's it's a necessary evil now. All by the power of a single chair. Yeah, that one chair, that crystal chair, to get us into the mutant bug layer early, was really the MVP at the end of the day. That's everything from the bundles. That is officially everything from the bundles. I'm gonna b break those pastel pink apples hearts. No, they're they're still very much welcome and very much appreciated. They just work for Joja now. <laughs> All right. Do I have a bee house? No bee house needed because I can buy honey from uh, Sandy. Hello, welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first to say that, Morris. I haven't met a lot of people. Membership is now available. Oh, it only took seven years. Okay. All right. Membership costs $5,000. It's a bullet that we have to bite, unfortunately. It feels wrong. But it's the only way forward from here. I forgot there was a second confirmation dialogue. If you become a Joja member, the community center will become a Joja warehouse and you will be no longer be able to refurbish it. However, Joja will provide alternative means of improving the town. Are you sure you want to join? Are we absolutely sure? I think we are. Cheese press, we already got it because we, we finished the animal bundle, right? We finished the animal bundle. I put the cheese press in the barn, yes. Just, just let me let me confirm it. Let me confirm it. Let me confirm everything is done. Spring crops don't need it. Fall crops don't need it. Summer crops don't need it. Crafts room don't need any of this. None, none of this required. Fish tank, crab pot bundle done. Don't need any of the other ones. Bulletin board don't need anything from these. We, the seed maker was the only thing we already got one from Skull Cavern. That's it. We're good. Lock it in. It's like the traveling cart. Rip off the band aid. Go. Done. There's no going back. Oh, and don't forget your wallet. <laughs> that kind of got me good. All right, so tomorrow we can start buying out those bundles. So tomorrow we can start buying out the community development form and be on our way to Ginger Island in just a few more days. Do any of the crop bundles give us something useful, though? Nothing that is mission critical. I can buy it today. He said, Didn't he say I have to come back tomorrow? 
Either way, we'll just come back tomorrow. All right. Chat. You know what? Ross has got it right. Don't be sad that Jojamart is... That we're now members of Jojamart. Be happy that we're on our way to Ginger Island very near, in the very near future. And be happy at this Preserves Jar. It's... I mean, Preserves Jars... People take them for granted. People, like, swap them out for kegs at the first chance they get most of the time. This preserves jar, we worked long and hard for it. It is more valuable to us than any preserves jar has ever been to anyone else, I think. Pickle, pickled pumpkins, let's go. All right. Lock it in. We're off to bed. Time for Beatrix's blue cowboy hat era. Do we have the blue cowboy hat? I don't remember if we ever got to keep one of them. Oh, blue cowboy hat. Join us, thrive! <laughs> Joja has usurped the cowboy hat. Perfect. <laughs> it's exactly what I need to wear to the to the Joja celebration in the in the near future here. I just want to remind you that the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. I thought that was gonna be some mail from Joja, to be honest with you. I really, really did. There's a Joja shirt. I think I probably like uh, have to tailor a Joja cola if I were to guess. That's how I would get that. Junimos? Where where are my Junimos at? They're hiding. They're hiding. I'm sorry, little Junimos. It was it was for the best, I promise. It was for the best. It's okay. There's just nothing to harvest right now. It's fine. I don't think we need to water anything down here. Everything, Everything's already watered. I mean, I'm already down here. No, I'm not going to water it. I'm too excited. I'm too excited for the future of what's about to unfold to, to worry about watering these crops right now. Joja Cola without fishing? I could, I could buy one at the saloon, I believe. <laughs> not that anyone ever does that, but there is a vending machine for Joja Cola at the saloon. Put a kyanite in the Junibot so they can be blue too. No. No, we gotta keep them as the lucky pink Junimos. Maybe, I guess we could, I mean, maybe we could combine blue and pink. I don't know if that's an option, but. You've done that for Cheese Quest. Joja Cola count as a blue option. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. I guess I should just be taking the minecart. It's probably a little bit faster. And now that we're members of Joja, fuel your life. It's all about efficiency. It's locked open 9 a.m. All right, I guess it didn't matter anyway. <laughs> what have I become? Standing outside Joja Mart, waiting for it to open before, like at like 8:30 a.m., wearing a Joja-themed cowboy hat. Literally yesterday, I was I was helping the Junimos. I was frolicking about in a pumpkin patch, and now I'm now I'm waiting for a darn supermarket to open. How this challenge evolves. All right, what are we buying first? It does. It really doesn't matter, honestly. We'll buy we'll buy the bridge. We'll just buy them in order here. All right. Beatrix, do be thriving now. It's for the greater good. It's for the greater good. We just have to remember that. Keep that in our hearts. I could buy the JoJo wallpaper. I'm not that committed to the cause. Beatrix is a pragmatist. She's, you know, she's not going to JoJo because she loves their products and and promotes healthy stomach bag uh, efficiency with their with their powdered bacon or whatever the heck they sell. She's doing it purely for efficiency's sake. Can you, can you guys get the lead out a little bit? Look at that man, he's walking this, just the slowest I've ever seen any human being walk. Granted, he is carrying a, like a 2x4, sure, but... Sugar cones? Oh, I have to forget about the Sugar cones. A little sugar cone in my stomach bag. Do you think we get a discount on sugar cones now? Uh, where are my cherries at? All right, today is the Stardew Valley Fair. I'm kind of too ashamed to show my face there, though. So I think we're just going to skip the fair this time so we can get, get back to Joja faster. 
At least Pierre gets to keep his free day. Silver linings and all that. Silver linings, we'll take it. A little watering action on those two right there, and otherwise I think we're just going to go ahead and let it ride. What should we pickle or jelly since we'll be sleeping several days? How do we consecrate the uh, the preserves jar first? Hmm. A little cherry jelly. Maybe some apricot jelly. Salmon berry jelly. What about a pickled... A pickled tomato? Pickled red cabbage actually sounds kind of fire. Pickled pumpkin? We don't have any more pumpkins, do we? No, we do have pumpkins. They're just in the Junimo hut. That's right. We'll pickle a pumpkin. Let's go. Let's go grab a pump. We'll we'll grab a pumpkin tomorrow. I'm gonna head down to the water it anyway. So we'll grab a pumpkin to pickle tomorrow. Eater Piper picked a pickled pumpkin. Ooh, I don't have to head down to the water, but I will head down there regardless for uh for the pumpkin. Should definitely have pumpkins left over. No, I, I ate all of them. We were hungry after that long sleep. <laughs> need to need to refuel. That said, pumpkins you cannot eat directly in Stardew Valley. I remember that. So, all right, just grab a few pumpkins here. Pickled pumpkin is a proper pick. Build a movie theater is locked behind catch a void salmon craft craft a mayonnaise machine. But you just need 500,000 500, since I did Joja Mart. That is true, Reese. It's just it's the craft a void salmon and craft a mayonnaise machine requirements for that are merely contingencies. Or if you didn't go Joja, I guess. I can remove that prerequisite. That's not that big of a deal. All right. Pickle my pumpkin, please, you prickly preserves jar you. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you prickly. It's just for the alliteration. I promise. Craft of Void Salmon. <laughs> Little robotic Void Salmon for me. But you can't get Wood Skip? I mean, you can get Wood Skip if you get Catch a Wood Skip as your, as your first goal. It's just not likely. I didn't buy a Joja product yesterday. It was a festival day. Couldn't get in. Stardew Valley Fair and all that. Cold beetroot soup season. That is that is one way to describe fall. Cold beetroot soup. I don't think I've ever had a beetroot soup. The only place I know that from is in Minecraft. It strikes me as one of those foods in Minecraft that no one would ever actually make for like food purposes, and you would only ever make like specifically to get the achievement to eat everything or something like that. Does it have any actual tangible benefits in Minecraft, or is it just like another food to fill out the roster? The seven beetroot soup that doesn't even stack. It just gets worse and worse the more I hear about it. Alright, greenhouse? We'll save that one for last. We've got a greenhouse at home. Greenhouse at home is our is our Junimo hut. We won't get much use out of the greenhouse. The one benefit of having the greenhouse will be that we can uh, plant fruit trees in there, and they'll be they'll operate year round. That's uh that'll be nice. Not that I don't love our little orchard up here, but it's outlived its usefulness for the time being. I think. That said, I don't even really need them in the uh, in the greenhouse for in the near future because, well, I mean, I probably should put them in there before too long, honestly. But beetroot soup is great at dyeing your desk in Minecraft. What the heck? There's desks in Minecraft. That dude, that dude on the jackhammer is gonna die. That cannot be safe. Is this OSHA approved? I who. Who am I kidding? It's Morris.
It's good at dying. It's great at dying your desk. Read that again. IRL. Wait, IRL. It's okay in mine. It's in Minecraft. It's not useful for anything, but in real life, you can use it for dying your desk. I think I'm breaking. My brain is breaking. Is it? Is it good for dying your desk, or does it just, or does it just spill on your desk and stain, and it's upsetting? I guess either way, that technically is good for dying your desk, no matter what. Quick little harvest of, uh, well, quick little harvest of the corn there, obviously, but also a quick little watering of the two most important crops right now. Beets are notoriously colorful. It is true. Like you don't want to, you don't want to be eating beets or drinking beet juice with a with a white shirt on. That's just asking for trouble. That that said, who really wears white shirts? You can only you can only wear a white shirt for like half of a day, and then it's like uh, it's no good anymore because it's like you got it got stained by something already. I feel like people who wear white shirts on a consistent basis are doing like twice as much laundry as everybody else. What color is my shirt IRL? My shirt right now is gray. Like it's like a dark gray. Hey there, Casey. Welcome on in. You're here at just at the perfect time. We are about to finish off the uh, Joja Community Development Form, TM. Gotta wait for Joja Mart to open, of course, but might as well do a trash one while we're waiting. Ooh, pancakes. I'll take it. A little plus two foraging buff. Don't know if that's gonna come in handy or not, but I'd like, I'd like to have it. I feel like I should just save all buff foods. All buff foods. That makes me think of like a pancake with like like muscles. Stains are guaranteed for white shirts if you have babies slash toddlers. I mean, they're guaranteed for white shirts no matter what you do. I want to say, even if you're just live, even if you live a very sedentary life. All right, greenhouse. The final community development project. Not going to put too much panache on it. I miss I miss the community center already, but this is what just what we got to do. Save the pancakes for Jody. There are many myriad uses for pancakes, at least two. It's not like I need the money from selling the pancakes. That said, I am still going to sell the bread and the <laughs> and the field snack because what the heck else am I going to do with them? Sell the Joja Cola as well. Alright, pancakes. It does fill up my fridge, but that's that's my own fault. I can empty out other stuff to deal with that. Alright. Final sleep. Off to bed here. Greenhouse being built. Don't steal my supply crates, you sussy workers, you. You better not. You better not. I better still see those supply crates when I make my way over. I'm just saying. Use pancakes as a buff food for chopping down all the trees. Do you plant by the spa? That's actually a good idea. Yeah. I never would have thought of doing something like that. The foraging buff always seems... Ooh. Bee boss? Is Evelyn the bee boss in, in disguise? It, it, she came along just at the perfect time. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. It looks even better than I remember. Really? Uh, I mean, maybe your eyesight's not as great as it used to be. Gift from one gardener to another. I've never harvested a crop in my life, lady. Well, I've, I've harvested two starfruit. <laughs> about it. Lots are really handy. I'm sure we will. We might actually get some use out of that in the near future. Is this why I put Evelyn in the thumbnail? No, the reason Evelyn is in the thumbnail is because I decided, hey, it's a randomizer. Why don't I like randomize the thumbnail? So I like got a blank copy of the randomizer and I like clicked like four goals and put them in the thumbnail. And one of them was to befriend Evelyn. 
The B emojis are too powerful. I'm absolutely rolling a new goal before you have to leave for your apartment. We still have a little bit, a little bit of leg work to do to actually get to Ginger Island and take and get the blue discus and everything, but it's happening. It's happening today. It's happening soon today. All right. First, let's just. Ooh, ah, look at the greenhouse. Wow. Probably not going to see much use out of this. Just another one of those weird things about this challenge is that the greenhouse is going to be not nearly as useful as it uh, as it traditionally is. Greenhouse pass. I'll take the Junimos, thanks. Not rolling. I accidentally a word in there. Oops. <laughs> might be. Might be. Oh, greenhouse, nice. Garden pot! Pog! Oh, the garden pot, chat! The garden pot! Crazy! Alright, sell this muscle. And let's go, let's go get this over with. I mean, let's, it's not getting it over with. Let's enjoy it for what it is. We committed to Joja for the past, like, four days. Let's, uh, let's show our appreciation. They've done a great service for us here. There she is, everyone. Look sharp. Coming in wearing my signature blue Joja hat. It's great success. Who is this person? I kind of want to, like, get to know her. Dude, is that... That's like Beatrix in disguise. That's like Beatrix wearing sunglasses. This is the Spider-Man meme. They just, like, look at each other and, like, do a little point. Like, uh... <laughs> that's definitely Beatrix, dude. I'm not crazy on that one. Shane and Sam. That's Sam. That's Shane right there. Everyone else, I don't know. I could not tell you the names. Just a few short years ago, the great innovators at Joja headquarters come up, came up with a new idea, the Joja Community Development Project. The project was conceived... Oh, is he still going? Revenue? That's, that sounds about right. That sounds like Morris. Pelican Town, with its rundown infrastructure, was a perfect testing grounds. From repairing old bridges to fixing buses. You didn't fix any buses! He's taking credit for the Junimos! This this man knows no no bounds. What his evil knows no limits. The president of the company has asked me to give you this exclusive gift as a way of saying thanks. Awesome. I'll cherish it forever. Absolutely shameless. Terrible. Alright. Well, that's all I was really here for. Now we get a single Joja Cola every day. It keeps pumping out the good stuff. <laughs> Excuse me? 25 gold per day acquired. Not even worth the time spent on the shipping screen, to be honest with you. Here you go. Enjoy. Just, just soak up the sun. Soak up the sun, all that cola. All right, so now we go to bed. And then tomorrow we should get mail from Willy, right? So let's prepare for that eventuality. I, I have a feeling, I just call it a hunch, that tomorrow we're going to need 200 hardwood, 5 battery packs, and 5 iridium bars. Is a, It's just, just a hunch that I have, you know? Call me crazy, if you will. If you do Joja, do you still get the points for Grandpa's evaluation or no? I believe you do not. I got a feeling. Ooh. It's a weird feeling. Don't diss my feelings. Little pip pickled pumpkin. A jar of my homemade pickles. Yummy. And uh, we'll do a little bit of... I'm feeling some apricot jam. Why not? Just pop it in there. First pickle pumpkin. <laughs> I've unlocked the back room of the shop. Come by when you have a chance. Chat, this is real. This just got real all of a sudden. Let's go. Let's go unlock Ginger Island. Really, everything else has been stepping stones up until this moment. Joja, just a, just a vessel for getting to this point. 
Junimo Hut, I'm glad to have it. But you are not the end game, I'm afraid. Thank you for waving goodbye, though. I appreciate you. The Junimos are, are becoming a, too aware. Pieces of hay. Alright, we're still good. What will happen when I go to the railway since the quest is already done? Great question, honestly. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to do a little bit of investigative work on that one. This goal really snowballed. Yeah, this this goal, it's, it's subsumed so many other things into it. Who knew that one single little fishing goal could progress us so forward, could like catapult us this far into the future of the challenge, this far into the indus industrial age? Certainly not me. Of all the fish we could have gotten, <laughs> there, there were literally like three that could have done this. All right. It's open 9 a.m. I'll wait. It's okay. I don't know why he sent me the mail so bright and early if he's uh, just going to be going to be like that about it, but it's fine. Ride starfish. Last shards. Neither needed. It's Saturday. <laughs> it's fine. I can still get in on Saturday, right? He did say to come by later. It, sa it says he's open at 9 a.m. So I'm heading in at 9 a.m. For Ginger Island, I'm pretty sure Saturday is still fine. What do I still need for the museum? Like a smattering of artifacts. I don't know exactly which ones, but... Uh, probably still a decent amount, but like not that, that many. Alright. Don't know where Willie's at. Oh, he's probably back here now that I think about it. There it is. Everything has been leading up to you. My beautiful, beautiful boat. Aye, a sad sight, isn't she? My father's boat over served him well over 50 years. And it's gonna serve us well for 50 more, baby! I'd repair my for myself, but I don't have the right materials, miss. You're lucky that I do. <laughs> That's 200 hardwood, ticket machine, and the iridium anchor. Lord only knows why the ticket machine is so imperative to getting this boat up and running. But it's the least of our concerns now. I'd like to help. Am I hoping for an easier mid-tier goal four? I'm taking whatever the randomizer wants to give me. Up until this point, I've I've rolled with every single punch it's given me. I'm not about to let up now. We're in it for the long haul. I'm not gonna even put anything out there in the universe. Alright. Five battery packs. Easy. Five iridium bars. Medium. Excuse me. Five, har 200 hardwood? Why would you ask me for this? But here it is anyway. There we go. All materials have been found. The boat will be repaired overnight. It's, it's all happening so fast, chat. Chat, this is all happening so fast. We literally built a Junimo hut like last stream and now all of a sudden we're about to be on Ginger Island. Like two streams ago, we weren't we we didn't even have a glimmer of hope. We didn't even have like we had like ten hardwood. <laughs> and now here we are. On the cusp of a tropical paradise. Don't forget my fishing pole. I only have my training rod. Is that gonna be a problem, do you think? I guess I can buy a buy a fishing rod at Willie's. I'm gonna buy the I'm gonna buy a bamboo pole just to be on the safe side, I think. Okay. What do I need specifically for Ginger Island? Should here's the question now. Should we go with um Should we just unlock Island North and try our luck there, or should we unlock Island West? Iridium bar rod just to be safe? It doesn't get unlocked until like fishing level six. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right. Discus is easy to catch. Yeah, discus is not a particularly difficult fish. It's just actually hooking the fish will be uh, will be the issue. How will I accidentally avoid catching other fish, we, especially the sunfish? I mean, we've already uh, skirted the fishing tutorial. 
Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Willy, for your hard work. You have no idea how much this means to me. We've already sk skirted the fishing tutorial with the, uh, by buying, by fishing up that void mayonnaise earlier. So we don't have to worry about, like, being forced to catch something that's not a blue discus. It'll be open to us, so it should be fine. All right. Just go north. It'll take a long time to unlock Island West. I don't think it will. I really don't think it will. And I think Island West is, uh, the chances of catching the blue discus are a lot higher in Island West. Either way, let's head on down. The old boat is seaworthy once again. Stop by the back room whenever you want to ride. My shop is now open at 8 a.m. every day so we can get an early start. Thank you, Willy. Big claps for Willy. Plus, you can reset very easily there. I'm not planning on getting the island farmhouse necessarily. Just unlocking the west side of the island. I think that would be good enough for me. Slingshot, maybe? That would have been a good idea, but I'm too far gone now. I'm too excited. My legs are carrying me faster than my brain can process. Was it more or less than five minutes in, in the Price of Perfection to get to Island West? Is it is it like 20 walnuts? Is it 10 walnuts? I honestly don't know. We'll find out when we get there. Cross that bridge when we freaking come to it. Chad, is anyone else shaking, or is it just me? My, hand, my hands are kind of like... <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is all of a sudden all too real. I'm standing outside, about to step foot on Ginger Island for the first time. Ooh. All right. All right. This is our moment. It's my time. It's my time. 8 a.m. I'm going in. I'm going to buy... I'm going to wait for Willy. We're going to wait until he comes back so I can buy the bamboo pole. Welcome on in, Laura DeV. You're in at the perfect time. You're in at the perfect time. Not shaking, but still anxious and excited. You're nervous sighted. Ooh, all right. Give me the hydration break that I need. It's been a long time coming. A lot of work has gone into has gone into this day. Today probably won't be the day we actually catch the blue discus. I think we unlock Island West. And then uh, head back and sleep to lock it in, and then we can reset for the blue discus. Bamboo pole, please. Take me away, Willy. Take me to the land of paradise. Ginger Island, here we come. Let's enjoy this cutscene together. We've earned this one, chat. Can we get your most tropical emojis in chat? Tropical emojis? For Ginger Island. Not only is this the step we need to get the blue discus, this is going to be a big step for just the future of this challenge as a whole, to be honest. Weird discordant music, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but it is... Uh, it is what we signed up for. Yo, the dinosaur! Never forget. Ginger Island. Let's go! Since it's my first fish, I won't catch any trash. I've caught voids... I've caught void mayonnaise, so that's gonna exclude me from that. Hello, Leo! <laughs> and goodbye, Leo! It, it doesn't feel... It feels so strange to be here. Gold walnut me? You received a golden walnut. The first of many. The first of many. Just fish between 2 and 9, and assuming I don't get trash, I'll catch the blue discus. That sounds like a long time to, to, to wait for a reset, though. Hello. Would you like a walnut? 
I'm I'm going on autopilot, dude. I'm going on autopilot right now. The boy likes looks at you with curious eyes. He's like, what the heck is that Jojo Brand Jojo branded cowboy hat on your head? He's been living on this island in isolation all this time, and even he knows that Joja is is wicked. Perhaps making friends with parrots could earn his trust. It'll take longer to unlock Island West. I don't. I really don't think it will. And like based on my experience fishing in Island North, which is I have more of it than you might believe. I think the, tr the odds of trash are, like, significantly higher there. How much do I need to move to move this lad? I need 10 walnuts. I need 10, ten more walnuts. Highly doable. Let's go, to let's go do it. Here we go. One walnut. We'll take two walnuts. We got two walnuts on deck. We got three walnuts here. Isn't there, there's like something like, is it right, is it right here? Right here? Right here? Maybe this is not anything, maybe I'm just a fool, okay. Yeah, 10 walnuts should not be a problem. Should not be a problem, and I think it'll save us a lot of, a lot of time in the future. Oh wait, there's, there's one down here, right? There's one down here? There's one in the grass, I missed it. Wait, there's one here that I missed, or? There's one in the grass, right? There's one like, oh, right there, right there, okay. And then this one down here. Take care of that. Perfect. Missed one by the bush in the gem shrine area. That thank you. That might come in uh might come in handy here. You still have the nightmares about the first time I did the Simon puzzle. <laughs> Why would you have nightmares about that? It was it was totally fine. So yeah, this is this is blue discus territory technically, but it's 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 tough. I'm gonna tell you, it's pretty tough to catch a blue discus there. I've done it before, but I I would not recommend it. That's nine golden walnuts, and there should be a tenth one right around the corner here, right? Right there. Come around this way, just to you know, might as well might as well cover all our bases here. 10, no problem, baby. Perfect. All right. And with that, let's go unlock Island West. Then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to head back. I'm going to save that. I'm going I'm to save the day, lock it in, and then we will just, just on the very off chance. Well, honestly, even in Island West, catching trash is a distinct possibility in the areas where you fish for the blue discus. But it's less, far less likely than it is in Island North. All right. Here we go. Get this turtle out of here, please. Take him somewhere where he can, we can live in peace. Dude's got heavy Snorlax energy and he's just clear his way out of the road. It's fine. I respect his right to exist, just not here. All right. Ginger Island West. Wait, the, dude, where's, where's my Bumbo Cave? Where's my big bumbo frog? All right. Not going to worry about anything else for right now. Let's just head home. Let's just head home. We've had or had our fill of Ginger Island for the day. We are a single day. We are less than a full day away from completing the third goal of this challenge. Who would have thought it would have taken us all the way here to Ginger Island when we first started this challenge? But here we are now. And it's such a pleasure. It is such a pleasure. This is so exciting. I'm so I'm so with you. I'm hyped with you. Run it back home. Why does it look so dark around here? There's like a there's like a looming storm on the horizon. Is that just me? It, fe it feels like darker. Hopefully that's not a portent of terrible things to come with goal number four. <laughs> Pulls collar. A train is passing through Stardew Valley, chat. This could be a sign. Can we get our lucky leprechaun shoes? I got it. It's, I mean, it's too perfect timing. Let's, let's go get this train. I know. Trust me, I know. Okay? 
Everyone's so excited about the fish, but the train is right there. This has to be a sign. This is a test from Yoba himself. Oh, I forgot about this as well. <laughs> I'll just skip that for right now. I'm too excited about the train and this fish and this pan in my inventory. That's probably not going to get that much use, to be honest with you. But you never know. You never know. Won't be as lucky as the star shards. Never could be. Oh, we do still get this cutscene. <laughs> He's just looking at the... Wait, I hear the train. I hear the train. This is... This is so confusing. I'm so... I'm so confused. My brain is, like, being fried right now from all sides. Have I ever told you that I was married? <laughs> What are you talking about? Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. My wife and I were together for many years until until I made a mistake that drove her away. Dot, dot, dot. 07 for the wizard. Her anger and envy, envy were so intense that she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. Sorry, can you speak up? Can you speak up? There's a train going by. When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home. Fe fearing an innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. You didn't do a great job sealing it, I'm gonna lie. There's like literally nothing here. But now it must be unsealed for when we separated, she took my magic ink. Hey, no problem, buddy. I would do this myself, but I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. Yep, been there, done that. Did you, did you like forget we've already, I already gave you the magic ink. I figured it was yours anyway, dude. In order to unseal this dark passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewer. He should know where to find one. I don't need that guy's help. I'm counting on you. If you can repeat my magic ink, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Dude, you've built me a desert obelisk and a Junimo hut already. <laughs> Need I remind you? Those were two extremely important things that have already happened in, the, in this. And hey, I don't even want to get... Don't get me started on you. You and your silly little void eggs. Anyway, I guess we missed the train. It is what it is. He's trolling. All right, enough of that. That was that was a very silly turn of events. Dark Talisman, is this quest just here forever now? <laughs> I guess I could always go talk to Krobus and progress it maybe, but. <laughs> Can you speak up about your divorce? The train going by is a bit louder than your train wreck of a marriage. Oh, Reese, that is, uh, that is brutal. Brutal, but the, the sad honest truth. Keeps going even during cutscenes or when it pauses. Trains are just built different. What can I say? Is the Dark Talisman back in the sewers? I mean, it's still there for me. Alright. Put away this pan. Don't need it for right now. Put away these... These. These Omni Geodes. Have a fishing rod of all things ready. Alright. Who's ready? Chat... Chat, spam that blue fish emoji if you're ready for the blue discus. We've waited long and we've waited loud. Not really loud. We're not really loud around here. We're pretty chill, but let's go get it. Let's go catch a blue discus. Oh my gosh. All right. Goal number three, catch a blue discus, is about to be finished. I can't even believe that it... I honestly thought it was going to take significantly longer than this. I, I overestimated, I suppose, how long the grind would be. It was still a grind, don't get me wrong. It was still a lot went into this, and a lot of energy and time and, and blood, sweat, and tears. But here we are, on the cusp of goal number four. I am beyond excited. Still need to water the rare seed. I'm just going to hope that, <laughs> that the retaining soil did its work, honestly. All right. It's all right. No rush, Willie. No rush. I've just been waiting for this for the past seven years of my life. And you're out here fishing? You're not even fishing far from shore. What are you hoping to catch with that? You, you think you're going to catch the blue discus before me? No, no, mister. You? Listen, listen, man. Listen. You've got another thing coming. If you don't get your butt onto that boat right now and take me to the island, okay? The people have been waiting, I've been waiting. There's so much more riding on this more than you could possibly imagine. You know why I didn't take that goal, Willy? It's too small. It's insignificant. 
It's a microbium compared to the likes of what I, I operate in worlds you cannot possibly conceive. Lightning shoots from my fingertips. Anyway, I'm off to Ginger Island. Blue discus time, baby. Blue discus time. Let's make it happen. Just, just a straight beeline right across the way. Is this, is this the best spot to fish for blue discus? I don't know. Let's get in the water and find out. This is the most tense moment of fishing I've ever experienced in my life, dude. No! Is that a reset? I think that, I mean, that's gotta be a reset. We got, we gotta make every bit of experience count here. <laughs> I think we have to make every bit of experience count. It's okay. The resets are gonna be a little long because we have to wait, obviously, for, uh, for the boat to open every day. That said, make it a little bit faster. Not a fishy fish, just a fishy, just a fishy fraud. Water your berry lots of time. That's actually a good point. I should water it next time. But for now, we'll just, uh, we'll just wait. <laughs> we'll just hang out here. Reset pull, I'll do you one better. I will do you one better. I got you. And let me get my... I just want to get my script set up so I can actually do the thing. Okay. There we go. One blue discus reset underway. And let's, uh, hold on. I will, I will set up a pole as well. You know what? No, nah, I'm not going to set up a pole. I'm not going to set up a pole. I don't want to pit people against each other in this moment. This is, this is, this one's a big one. We all got to all be collectively together. We're just going to hope that that number does not rise too high. In the meantime, yeah, I guess in the future we can just, we can like go water the, uh, sweet gem berry. We can go do like a trash run or something as, as we wait for this to open. We definitely don't need to be here, but welcome on in Frog's Legs. You are you've picked the perfect time to come on in, to be perfectly honest with you. See that count in the top left? We just started. We just started on this blue discus grind. <laughs> Hopefully it's not much of a grind. Hopefully uh unlocking Island West will have bolstered our odds significantly here. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Go, go, go! Ah, I missed the, I misclicked the door. Uh, go, go, go! Run, Beatrix, run, run, Beatrix, run! Other than trash, what could cause a reset? Uh, the only other fish we can catch, I believe, is a tilapia. I believe tilapia is available until 2 p.m., but I'm not about to wait until 2 p.m. every single day to try and catch a blue discus, only to catch, like, a, like a broken CD or something. Lionfish should only be available in the ocean. I'm gonna. F I want to fish like in the middle of the river here. You suggest going to the lake for better odds of catching the fish. We'll try that next time if need be. And turns out the need do in fact be. Good impactful music though. Very good impactful music. All right, two resets deep. That's fine. That's fine. We've we've endured worse than this. Plus, this gives me a good excuse to go water the sweet gem berry and the ancient fruit. Well, to, to check if they even need to be watered. To be honest with you, there's a chance that the retaining soil just did our work for us here. Yep, retaining soil has actually done all the work already, so we don't even need to worry about that for 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 the future. I'll grab this. Do fishing food buffs help with decreasing trash? I believe they probably do. 
to be honest with you. So we could get like a trout soup from Willy, or we might already have some fishing food buffs, but I guess, I guess we do have the seafoam pudding, but I want to save those for, for more uh, critical endeavors, I suppose you would say. Quick little trash run, why not? Yeah, to, set, to, to get a trout soup, I would have to wait until Willy, like, opens his shop, like, until he starts selling stuff at 9 a.m. So that would be a bit more of a wait, but it might be, uh, might be a good idea. When I started playing Stardew all those years ago, did I expect to become the Reset King? Definitely not. In fact, if you had asked me back then, I would have been like, Resetting days is cheating, and... Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine trying to do this challenge without resetting even a single time? Literally. It would literally cut my mic off is what it would do, apparently. <laughs> Sorry, I unplugged my microphone by mistake. It literally destroyed me, take, took me out of this mortal coil. Hopefully you can hear me again now. I just, I plugged it back in. Hopefully that's like good enough. <laughs> What Dark Mimi said, what Dark Mimi said. As far as I know, the ponds on the left are only the blue discus, or at the very least, few fish other than the blue discus. I believe the I believe the fish in the pond and the river are the same. Um but I'm willing to give the pond a shot because I think I can reach a higher fishing zone in the pond, which would allow me to have a lo lower chance of trash, I believe. So let's take a quick little extra couple steps over here. To this pond right here. If I do like a little max cast, this will probably just like feel better, right? You usually get your blue discus from the pond. This feels right. This definitely feels more right than than doing it in the river from like before. Come on. Come on. <gasps> Chat. I think that's a that's a blue discus. That's a blue discus. Is that a blue discus or is that a tilapia? I think it's a discus. You piece. <laughs> Get me out of here! It's been so long since I've caught the fish. To be look, <laughs> it's been a while since we've done a blue discus. I honestly I didn't want to say that it was going to be a tilapia because I was like so willing it to be a blue discus. But when I really looked at the pattern, I was like, this is a tilapia probably. I think the blue discus is more erratic than that. It's alright. It's alright. At least we got a fish. At least we got a fish that time, chat. <laughs> so it's we're making progress for sure. The blue discus, it just wants to tease us a little bit longer. It just wants us to, to have us enjoy this... Uh, <laughs> this grind just that little bit more. Just to savor the moment that more that much more effectively hit e and let it go next time i wasn't fully confident that it was not going to be a blue discus so i didn't uh, that's why i didn't cancel it but that that will be the protocol from here on out if i'm pretty sure it's a tilapia i see blue discus on the walls You're up to date with the stream, ready for me to catch it. Welcome in, Ali. You came in at the perfect time. This is reset number number three here. We're about to go catch the blue discus. Mark my words. Just as soon as we check this garbage can. Blue discus is 60 dart. That sounds like way harder than I thought it would be. To be honest with you, that sounds that sounds like a much more hot, much more difficult fish than I was bargaining for. Shouldn't be that bad, right? Tilapia is difficulty fifty. Okay, so it won't be too bad. Hopefully. It's gonna be very embarrassing when I do catch or when I do hook the blue discus finally and then I fail to catch it though. <laughs> Knock on wood, optimism and all that, but it's uh it is a possibility. It's always a possibility. Alright. 
bamboo pole. Rub the star shards for good luck real quick. Send it. Poor Willy is caught in the time loop too. <laughs> it's the cost of doing business. Hopefully he's not in it for that long, but he knows what he got himself into. The moment he repaired that boat, he, uh, he had to know. Something from on high told him. This? That's not a... Chad, that's not a blue discus. That's a, that's a tilapia. That's a tilapia. I'm calling my shot. Yeah, no darting whatsoever on that uh, on that line, so we cancel that one. Come on, come on. That's not what we're that's not what we're all about. We're gonna catch every single piece of trash before we can catch the treasure that we're so longing for. Welcome on in, blasted. You are just in time, assuming that's uh that the trash swings in our favor. It's okay. It's okay. We just try it again. It's all we can do. It's all we can do. We've worked so hard for this moment. Now we just gotta close it out. It's like I said, getting to Ginger Island is the hard part. Catching the blue discus it's the easy part. It's, it might not be the easiest thing in the world, but it's still it's still the easy part compared to everything else that we've undertaken up until this point. It's not like catching the blue discus itself is going to be is going to take three streams. Build the farmhouse, maybe. I kind of like the anticipation that builds on the on the journey to Ginger Island. I'm not going to lie to you. The goal is just one good cast away. That's a great way to look at it. Get this out of here. I want to. I want to have a nice, good inventory space for for the blue discus to arrive in. You hope I get ship a crop. Chat. What's the what's goal number four going to be? Shoot your shot now. Someone's got to get it right. So if of all the people in chat now. If ever, if everyone posts uh, posts a guess, one per someone's gonna get it right. Golden clock, gain a level. Befriend Jas, cook a recipe. Befriend Penny, combat level. Gain a mining level, ship a crop. Craft something. We got you. Got to be more specific. If you really want to call your shot, you got to be like instead of like craft something, ship something, cook something. You got to be like he's gonna get cook cranberry candy. And then when it happens, you can be like, I was right! And you can have the greatest dopamine rush of your life. Craft a preserves jar. Catch an octopus. Ship a melon. Cook cranberry candy. Should have seen it coming. Ship pumpkin. Upgrade the axe. Foraging level. These are all great possible options. Catch a herring, catch a wood skip. <laughs> Ship fiber. Catch a Joja Cola, maybe? Catch a Joja Cola? Chip a cherry cola. Catch the legend. Koji, welcome on in. Perfect timing, and thank you for the 13 months of uh, support at the neutron level as well. Hello, hello. Happy weekend indeed. You're here at a great time. We're about to catch a blue discus. Craft an iron lamp post. Catch an octopus, mountain obelisk, ship a radioactive bar. Catch a Joja Cola is not a goal. <laughs> it's not part of the shipping or the fishing collection. That would be pretty hilarious, though. Craft a jack o' lantern. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay before the number goes up, but I believe five is the correct number right now. Ship caviar, befriend Evelyn. We're gonna take one more crack at the blue discus this way, and then I think next time, I'm not willing to commit to it this time, but next time, uh, we'll wait until 2 p.m. I don't wanna do that for every reset, because if we wait till 2 p.m. and then catch, like, some broken glasses, we're all gonna be very sad, but it does mean we won't be able to catch a tilapia. Is Trash Bear a goal? Trash Bear is a goal. Hoping for game level in any skill. <laughs> 
Craft a bone mill is probably one of the worst I could get next. I've been thinking about that. Craft a bone mill is uh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Betting on ship a star fruit. Ship a void egg is your guess, Koji. Mining level. Someone's gonna get it right. I have I have faith. Or we're all gonna be like flabbergasted by it being something something insane that no one's ever thought of before and being like, that's a goal? <laughs> what the heck? He's gotta he's gotta go do Fector's challenge now. What on earth? Who could have seen this coming? Catch a spook fish? That's a good obscure goal. Golden Scythe would be fun. Golden Scythe would be a nice little nice little reprieve, a good little reward. Alright, blue discus. I'm praying. I'm praying to the blue discus. Can we get some praying emojis? Some praying and some fish emojis, please? Vector's challenge is a goal, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, it could be it. Chat. This is it. This is it? Is this it? This is it. This is darting? He's darting. He's darting. Chat, this is a blue discus. Hold, come, come to me. Come to me, baby. Please, don't do this to me. Oh, gosh. It's just hard enough to be tense. This is definitely it. This is definitely it. Go, go, go. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, this is so spooky, dude. This is so spooky. Why are you so hard? No. <laughs> It's all right. We get it again. We go again. We go again. Run it back. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you, you stinky fish. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you stinky. You're beautiful and I cherish you and I will love you forever if you will just join me. I've got, I've got a fish tank with your name on it. I've got a fish tank with your name on it. I'm focusing. Not focusing hard enough. I'm not focusing hard enough. Get, get your head in the game, man. Get your head in the game. Please. Please. This is the day. This is the day. Let the music wash through you. Are you kidding me? Oh, all right then. All right. You want to you want to play like that? You want to play it like that? All right. Let's pull out some stops now. Let's pull out the stops. Do I have any fishing food buffs? I've got seafoam pudding. I've got a maki roll, which is not a food buff. Not a fishing buff, I should say. Gus, what do you got for me? Fish taco. <laughs> Cheese cauliflower. Definitely not. Fishing buff, fishing buff, fishing buff, fishing buff, fishing buffs? No fishing buffs. All right, we got to buy a trout soup at Willy. Why was the walnut an auto reset? The walnut is three fishing experience. We're not going seafoam pudding. We're not going seafoam pudding. Seafoam pudding is too valuable. I'm sorry. Did I do, did I hit the, the counter for this, for the blue discus, by the way? I did? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the seafoam pudding has got to be... If I can get... I could just buy a trout soup. Get that... It's like a plus one fishing buff. That's all I need. That's all I need. I don't even really need that. Like, if, if you gave me enough resets, then I could definitely make this happen. But I know we're all... We're all waiting for this moment. We're all on the cusp of our chairs. Collectively. So, let's, uh, let's wait the extra hour at Willie's. Invest in the trout soup. And go from there. Yeah, trout soup will be a big one. Buy the trout soup and then lock it in. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, isn't it? It's probably a good idea. As much as I don't want to, as much as I just want to get it... It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. I'm taking my chances on this one. 
I'm, I'm not going to lock it in. I'm just buying the trout soup and I'm going. I'm too excited. I've made too many concessions already. I've made too, too many little side adventures, too many... I put this off too long. It's just me and this blue discus. Me and this blue discus and this trout soup. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. Have a good one there, Mushi Ginko. Trout soup me. Just one trout soup is all I need. It's all I need. Give me a chance. Give me this chance. We're going in. I have faith. I have faith in the power of the trout. Chat, it worked actually like very well last time. Can you please spam the blue fish emojis and maybe some praying hands in there just for a little bit of good luck? Pray to our blue discus overlord. Trout soup is on our side now. Let's make this happen. Goal number four, come on. Goal number four is waiting to be rolled. Waiting with bated breath. We got this. We got this. We got this. I'm giving it the side eye. I'm giving that bottle the side eye right now. What are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? That's not a trout. That's a soggy newspaper. <laughs> it's fine. We go again. We just go again. We run it back. There's no way we're going to, to 10 resets or more. We're, there's no way. No shot. You wanted to say it'll be the 8th try, but you didn't want to put that energy out there? Well, Miss Palindrome, now, now's your shot to say it. It's going to be the 8th try. Mark my words. Just made it in time. Welcome, Sail MC. Welcome. Everyone call your friends in. This is, this is the moment. This is, this is the moment. This is not the moment, it's the movement. We're all the luckiest fish with something to prove went. Reset polls would be useful. I don't think they would be in this case. I think it's too, it, would it would divide chat too much. There would be people who'd be like spamming like trash cans and stuff to try and get us to catch trash so that they could like they could uh, have their internet clout points. No, we got We have to have solidarity on this one. We have to have solidarity. Let's hold hands. Everyone, hold hands. <laughs> Me calling my friends at midnight to tell them about a game they know nothing about. They'll get pogged up, trust me. If you if you give them the proper context, just give them the quick elevator pitch and they'll be like, yo, that sounds like that sounds like a great time. Honey, wake up. Beatrix is about to catch the blue discus. And it's only gonna take one trout soup. We're going to try this one more time, and if, if this doesn't work, if we don't get it on this reset, which optimism, exclamation point optimism even, but you have my vow, if we don't get it on this attempt, I will, I will buy the trout soup and I will sleep, just so we don't have to sit through this every single time. But we have faith. With, if we're all holding hands and we're all praying and we're all believing, then we don't need any more than this. Look at Nightbot just getting flooded with optimism. Just pure optimism. What does Haley have to say? I didn't hear you. I'm thinking about something else. She's thinking about the blue discus. She's offering... This is like the end of Earthbound. Spoilers, no spoilers. Where everyone uh, comes together and prays. And they call out to you, the player. And they're like, come on, we need your support as well. Alright, Trout Soup. We got this. Oh, is this a... 
Is it darting? Chad, is this darting? I can't tell. That's not... Is, that's a tilapia. That's a tilapia. Tell me that's a tilapia right now. Say psych right now. Cancel. Okay. Cancel. Alright. That's not it. These are not the fish we're looking for. Deaf tilapia. Had heavy tilapia energy. I'm with you. Oh, second chance. You're a tilapia, aren't you? It's not darting. It's not... Look Look at how not darting it is. Get out of here. I don't need your flat face in my life right now, okay? There will come a time, tilapia. But today is not your day. And the golden walnut. The golden walnut to destroy our dreams. All right. Let's let's reroute. Let's rewire. Let's buy ourselves a trout soup. Maybe even a few trout soups for future possibilities. And then uh, and we'll lock that in. I'm not gonna go about getting the island farmhouse. I think it would take I would t it would take too much of the wind out of my sails to to try and finesse that one right now. I would need like 20 more golden walnuts on top of what I've already gotten. It's like, it's it's not worth it in my head right now. I honestly believe it would take more time to get the island farmhouse than it would for me to just, like, continue resets, especially once I have the trout soup. Break Groundhog Day. We're only delaying Groundhog Day one further day. This is not the Groundhog Day we we needed. The luck is not here. It's a lot of digging and hunting and potential for disaster. Yeah, I'm not about that life. I am not about seeking out that many golden walnuts right now. You really want me to have to go play? Like, I'm so psyched about this blue discus and getting the chance to catch it. I'm, I'm just like, it's all I can think about. It's all that's going through my mind. And you're really telling me, hey, Argon, go play the Simon Says puzzle with that mindset? Are you crazy? <laughs> what do you take me for? I can't do that. I can't even focus on, like, the, the on the fingers and on my hands right now. I can't even count how many there are. I'm too, I'm, they're shaking too much. What if I get a fish with a higher quality? <laughs> why would you say that? Quasar, why would you say that? Because if I get like a silver quality blue discus, then that's like too much experience. <laughs> no. It's okay. It's not going to happen. We'll be fine. Ass near the shore. Then we have a higher chance of getting trash, though. It's like, there's no winning. Alright. Buy, I'm gonna buy... Buy me ten trout soups. Ten trout soups, and then we will we'll sleep. Lock this one in, and we'll be back. I'll be back, Willie. I'll be back. Just cast closer to the shore. Maybe we won't do, like, a max distance cast, but we won't cast, like, right next to the shore. I do think high-quality blue discus are pretty rare. Water the berry. The berry has been watered. We checked it. It's, uh, it was quality retaining soil doing its work. I don't know why I didn't take the minecarts for the record. I just chronically forget. But <laughs> Welcome in, Ayana. No discus yet, but we are well on our way. We are right on the doorstep. We're knocking on Poseidon's doorstep right now. Put it all away. Um, something like this. All right. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is another chance for the blue discus of our dreams. Not to mention a little bit of apricot jelly. A little apricot jelly for the road. 
Some wine. You know, oh my gosh, there's so much happening today. What the heck? <laughs> it's all falling into place. I see it now. They wanted us to wait an extra day because now everything's all coming together. All the machines are processed. Pie is petted. Pie is going to be watered as well. Water and pet pie. We just have... It's like... It's really like Groundhog Day, the movie, where you just have to do everything perfectly according to plan. You have to have make it the perfect day. Go water the, uh... The ancient fruit, because the sweet jam berry is already watered. Let me continue on down now. Right past the void chicken. Fall 23rd, blue discus day. Mark it on the calendar. Lucky Seafoam putting in the inventory so I can earn pseudo-fishing levels via osmosis. That's the kind of energy I look for, Miss Palindrome. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe maybe next run we'll give it a try. But there's not going to be a next run. That's the trick. That's the trick. Your appointment was blessedly quick. Cat... Cass, welcome back on in. We have not caught it yet. We are eight resets deep, and we're not going nine. We're not going nine. We're about to get it right now. I got, I got ten trout suits to my name. If that's not enough, that's like a virtual ten fishing levels just waiting in my inventory right now. If we want to talk about absorbing levels of osmosis, that's the best we can hope to do, right? Blue Discus and you had a chat. He said his name is Pete and he'll collaborate this time. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jay, for reaching out. I don't know why you didn't do that the first eight times, but uh, <laughs> but I appreciate that you did it now. All right, chat, you know what to do. We eat the trout soup. Get your blue fish emojis out. Hold hands and pray. Hold hands and pray. It's all we can do now. It's all we can do. We've done everything. We've done everything in our power. To make this blue discus come home. He's coming home. He's coming home. Chat, this is it. We finally did it. Don't you toy with my emotions anymore. This is the one. This is the one. Oh my gosh, I've never felt so excited. Not since catching the legend. Not since catching the glacier fish. Not since catching any of those legendary fish. Nothing has compared to this moment. This blue discus of our dreams. We've worked so hard and waited so long for this moment. Please, please. Yes! It's the blue discus. It's the blue discus. There it is. Oh my gosh. Oh. Regular quality blue discus. We finally made it, chat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. And it only took eight resets. Seven years, eight resets, one fish. <laughs> Bring him home. Bring him home. Welcome, the first fish we've actually caught with our own calloused, briny hands. Take me home. Let's take this victory lap back to Fractured Farm. Get ourselves a beautiful fish tank, courtesy of our fresh and shiny furniture catalog. And lock this bad boy in. Want to roll the new goal before saving? I probably will, to be honest with you, yeah. I, I, we'll see, we'll see how, how this goes, but... I'm, I'm so excited, I just want to do this. I, I need to put, give this blue discus a place of honor. This blue discus is a symbol. A symbol of the lengths we are willing to go to in the face of extreme adversity. No matter what the randomizer decides to throw at us next, let this blue dim... This blue dimble? This blue discus, the desert obelisk, and our homie back in the mines, let them all be testaments to the power of persistence and optimism and love. 
Laura V. Thank you for the 599 euros. Sending good vibes for the next goal. I appreciate it. I appreciate it greatly. Fish tank. I'm going with I'm going with the modern fish tank. Ooh, it's so sleek. It's in the shape of a blue discus and everything. It's so big. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. Um you can go right here. Enjoy. Enjoy your new home, my little blue discus friend. It's perfect. There he is. Oh, and hello, Wickety. Hello, Wickety. You're here at the perfect time. The blue discus has arrived on Fractured Farm. I hope you had a wonderful stream, Wickety. You're here at a fantastic moment. <laughs> you couldn't have timed it any better. All right. The blue discus has, is here. Let's take a look. Fishing, 1 out of 67. Obelisks, 1 of 4. Walnuts, 12. Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> and friends, 0 for some reason. Thank you for the 199 super chat. Casey Lee, I greatly appreciate the support. Well, chat, what do you say? We pop open the randomizer. And, uh, let's go again. Run it back. Run it back. You think I'm afraid? You got you think I'm afraid just because hold on a second. I gotta get I gotta get all my things in a row here. First we'll knock that out of here. Then we'll do like this. Okay. Okay. You randomizer. You silly frustrating beguiling randomizer. You really think that just because every single time I've pressed that generate goal button that you're going to intimidate me into submission here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Catch a blue discus? Yoba threw that goal in my face and laughed, and I'm throwing it back in his face and giving him the side eye. What's next, Yoba? What's next? Be f finish this goal? I'm ready for a new one. Hit me with it. 0.5% of the way to perfection. We get some 0.5 spam in chat. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Generate goal. I'm ready for anything. I'm ready for anything. I'm bracing myself. No matter what this is, we're going to see it through. There's nothing we can't overcome. We've put so much legwork. The foundation is set. Let's see this. Let's let's see what we got next. I'm, I, I have no words. I have no words anymore. Just just show me goal number four, okay? Just show me goal number four. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two. Just click it. Click it. Click it. Catch it. Catch a red mullet. Catch a red mullet. Chat. Am I going crazy? Chad, am I going crazy? This doesn't seem like it's going to take, like... It's, gonna, it's not going to take seven more years? It's not going to take... Chat? Is this is this real? Is this real? Catch a red mullet? <laughs> they do exist! The easy goals, they do exist! It's a summer fish. It's... I, I mean, it's, it's currently fall. <laughs> It is currently fall. Um, all right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Maybe it's not as easy as we all uh, as we all thought. Summer and winter. Okay, if it's if it's a winter fish, let me hold on. Let me send you over here real quick. Let me just double check for all of our sanities. Red mullet. Summer, winter, six a.m. to seven p.m. Difficulty fifty-five. Behavior smooth. Sounds highly doable. Sounds extremely doable. All right, we just got to sleep until winter, basically, at this point. All right. Easy peasy? I didn't think they existed, chat. I'm not going to lie. I was starting to think that my randomizer was bugged, and it could only give me hard challenges. This We finally, catch, we finally caught a break. We finally, for the first time in forever, caught a single break. Let me go to Nightbot real quick. Nightbot... 
uh, commands. Could it be the legendary two goals in one stream? All right, catch a red mullet is our next goal. Red mullet. Hold on, capitalize mullet. Don't be a heathen about it. Four out of 565. I'm still shaking. I'm still, I still have that rush from the blue discus. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's go get it. Exclamation point goal me. We'll, we'll pin it just to, you know, just for old time's sake, but we might be, we might get to a point where we don't even need to pin it. It might take longer to pin it than it's even, like, worth waiting for, <laughs> if you know what I mean. All right. Um, there we go. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and put away the, put away the wood here. Um, honestly, like, is there anything else I need to worry about right now? I don't think so. I will hold on to a single trout soup for when we actually go have to catch, go and have to catch that red mullet. Ship a pumpkin, for example, it'd be super easy to grab a pumpkin and drop, drop it in the shipping bin. Yeah, these fishing goals could be a little, little iffy just because of like the, the seasonal requirements. Either way, blue discus, welcome to the, welcome to the party, lock you in. Four goals in seven years. The rare seed was, uh, it was watered already. I remember checking that. I think, don't I already have, I think I already have a red mullet somewhere here, actually. <laughs> Bro, I got a red mullet already. Bruh. I just didn't catch it myself. I got it from the trash or something. All right, we do have to go and check our, uh, our sweet gem berry. That's fine. That's, it's a chore that I'm happy to do. Yeah, I didn't catch it. I just, ooh, mushroom tree. I just uh, just found it in someone's trash one day. All right, it's still watered. I will water this. I don't know if we're going to get any more ancient fruit harvests out of it. Because obviously it's going to die in the winter, but it is uh, still worth it in my mind. Catch it from the fish pond? Doesn't work like that, unfortunately. <laughs> that does not add it to your fishing collection. Blessed fish stream. I'm just, I mean, I'm a little worried. We might get, we're getting, what, what's our fishing experience currently at after the blue discus? 32. There's no way the red mullet pushes us over, but if we get too many more fishing goals in a row before we get that fishing level up, we could be in some, in some hot water here. It, it would be fine. It would just be unfortunate if that's the way it has, to, pardon me, if that's the way it has to go. Can we see the blue discus in the collection just for funsies? You got it. <laughs> it's the very last fish in the collection. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> There's something hilarious about that. Catching the last fish first. Catching the fish in backwards order. Not quite backwards order because Red Mullet is next, but still. It's okay. He won't be alone for long in that collection. The Red Mullet should not be that tough to come across. Have a good one there, Mobby. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad you could be here for uh, for the goal rolling. Yeah, if we get too many fishing goals before gain level in fishing, then we just uh, bite the bullet, basically, and we accept that we got that, that level out of order. We basically finish that goal manually in the randomizer. I can just, like, go, and, go in and, like, mark that goal off as complete, and we carry onward, because... I've done everything in my power to make sure, you know, things like that can't happen, but there's only so much you can do and have it be, like, realistically doable. All right. Oh, there... Oh, I was, I was like, where where did my sweet gem berry go? They freaking harvested it already. You silly guy. You silly goose. Sweet gem berry. By far the sweetest thing you've ever smelled. I don't know, that blue discus felt smelled pretty sweet in my hands. That nice tropical tang. Alright. Sweet gem berry is officially done. Lock it in. 
We will need one more eventually, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, let's just go ahead and put it away with the rest of our crops. It literally fills the, la fills the last spot in the chest there for right now. Why you sniff and fish? You can you tell me there's a way to not sniff fish when you're catching fish. It's just <laughs> it's just it's just the lay of the land. All right, sleep it away. Hey there, Fossa Nova. Reset for the seeds. Reset for what seeds? What seeds are we talking about? Seed maker it? I don't need the seed maker it just yet. There there will come a time, but it's not like I can plant a. It's not like I can grow an extra one now, anyway. All right, you know, I'm just gonna. Well, I'll check. I'm heading down that way now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do like 98% of the work on this ancient fruit and then just like get lazy in the last two two seconds. Let's check and see. Man, I don't know. Did that get Did that get harvested? I'll. Here's the thing. I'll never know if it's ready to harvest because the Junimos will harvest it before I even get here. The Junimos aren't out and about. We'll come. We'll come back tomorrow. We, we gotta we gotta do debris day tomorrow anyway, in, in advance of uh, in advance of winter. Oh, I didn't even think about that. We gotta like do the whole silo thing. You know what? I'm too excited. I'm 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 excited that we get the chance at five fishing goals. I'm not gonna do the thing where I like empty the silo and like go get like clear my gra farm of grass to get all the hay and stuff. I'll just like buy the hay. <laughs> Scythe it now. I kind of don't want to, to be honest with you. I kind of don't want to. All right. If you twist, you twisted my arm though. You twisted my arm. You said it's heyday, and then I read it again, and I'm like, we should do it. Nah, we got money. I don't know, man. All right. We're gonna flip a coin. If it's heads, we'll do heyday. If it's tails, no heyday. Hey Siri. Hey, hey Siri. She's she's ignoring me. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Flip a coin. It's tails. Tails no heyday. Tails no heyday. We'll just do. Uh, we'll just buy our hay from Marnie. I'll give you a compromise. I'm going around to do debris day anyway. I'll just like scythe some hay along the way. But I'm not going to go and, like, clear out the silo. We'll scythe... How about this? I'll scythe hay until the silo is full. And then we'll just do no more beyond that. I think that's reasonable. I got whacked. It's okay. I is very resilient. Tim Tim Beeb's taken many licks in much the same way as Pi. It's uh it's just it just comes with the territory of being a pet in one of these challenges. Pardon me. Pardon me, my my animal friends. Yeah, this feels like a like a reasonable compromise. We'll just we'll just fill up both of our silos with 480 hay, and then we'll be we'll be alright. In fact, we might already even be there. Oh, we're not quite there. Yeah. I thought we had stopped getting hay already, and I was like, that was easy. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think our silo was that empty. I think it was pretty close to full already. Maybe not, though. Sympathy pets. <laughs> Little tiny mushroom. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to get rid of the mushroom. It is technically debris as far as, like, trees go. We don't need another mushroom tree. But I want another mushroom tree. Is that so bad? Is that so much to ask? A little baby mushroom. All right, I think now the silo is full. Seems to be. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that's silo full right there. And we'll just go do a little bit of debris clearing in advance of winter here. And then uh, we'll go catch ourselves a red mullet. Who would have thought? Two goals in a single day? Couldn't be me.
considering you never had one naturally spawn for you, you love it. You, there's your pro you, you just gotta wait seven in-game years and you'll you'll get one no problem. Don't clear any of the trees off your farm. Get get through seven in-game years and you'll probably get a mushroom tree, is is my guess. I'm gonna jinx it. I'm still very wary. I'm like a I'm like a wounded animal. I'm just like I'm look I look at that randomizer, I look at like the generate goal button, and even though it was nice to us this time, I'm still I still have that uh <laughs> that trained response of like every time I click this button, that's like a that's like a twenty hour investment minimum. You have a whole grove of natural mushroom trees. That's pretty based. Oh my gosh, I've got a whole grove of mahogany trees. I want to prune them a little bit, though. Keep things in order here. Now it's just a matter of seeing, like, when... What do you think our very first level up is going to be? It's only a matter of time. It's going to feel... Of all the things that have felt weird in this challenge so far, the fa the facts like that we eventually will get to level up in a skill still does not feel right to me. It feels like I've just been playing the no level up challenge on like on like hyper difficulty or something like that. I will leave that one down there. I don't know if I'm if I'm prepared to be able to be told like, hey, you know that thing you've been avoiding doing with every fiber of your being? For the past, like, 130 hours, just go do it. I'd be like, really? <laughs> Is this enough for a horse? We need 100 for a horse, so how many trees we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to say it's probably enough for a horse if we did bomb it, yeah. Yeah, chopping baby trees does not give any experiences. Any experiences? I mean, it does give the experience of uh, of massacring a baby tree, or whatever that's worth, but it does not give any foraging experience. Oh gosh, I, I thought that was going to be a tree. I was about to pick that blackberry clean up, I'm not going to lie. Is that cow licking the mahogany tree? Tasting the sap? It's not good for you, I promise. It might taste ni nice and sweet right now, but it's uh, it's gonna sap your energy real quick. Might be nice to be able to meet some of the other town folk. That's also nice. Yep. I think we're fine. We're we're getting to the point. Maybe I might be speaking too soon. I know we're literally only on goal four, but are we about to see the snowball effect? Are we about to finally? Finally, snowball past the the hardest point of the challenge. I think we're I think we're cresting that hill. I really, really do. There's something here that I can't see. Cat. Ooh, a little sneaky tree right there. Yeah. I think debris day is just about done here. We might. I'll go through like the middle section one last time. Um but I think we're pretty good. We're also at the point now where I think we can go back to doing debris days once every every week because having doing them just like once a month now has been, uh, it's made it so the trees have been able to spread a lot more than they used to be able to. I think we can start going back to once a week to try and keep that in check a bit better. Now that we're not, uh, we're not committed to a, a full seven-year grind anymore. All right, I think that's good. Got a bomb left of the sprinkler area again. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, I've got a date with a fish. Another, another fish, as a matter of fact. Let's go. Fishy, 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 baby. All right, and it's available right from 6 a.m., so we don't even have to wait. We can literally just go and try and catch... We, we got a beach warp totem, too. Perfect. Send it. <laughs> let's get this... Let's get goal number four. Let's go do it. All right, where should I fish, though? 
Where should where should I fish? Should I fish out? We'll fish over by like the lonely stone, I guess. All right. First day of winter. Let's get ourselves a nice little red mullet. Bro. I can catch it on my farm, but the rates of, of trash are much higher on the farm than they are on the beach. This much I know to be true. At least the resets for this one are much more manageable. Alright. Trout soup me up, please. Get souped up. Rub the star shards for good luck, and let's let's cast all the way out to the stone. Why not? Love the blue discus is space age fish tank. I figured for our first caught fish, it deserved a place of honor like that. All right, does this strike you as a fifty-five smooth boy? Is this smooth or is this a sinker? Are you a sinker or are you smoothing? I don't know. You might be smooth. You're kind of you're kind of smoothing me out. That's a that's a big old halibut right there. All right. It felt kind of sinker. This could give you a higher quality fish. I, could, I do have to be wary of that. You're right, yeah. I, got, I should probably fish closer to shore. That guy just halibutted in. Ooh, you see those smooching seagulls? That was cute. All right. Fish, like, right there. That's fine. Ooh. Are you... 50? You don't feel like 55. You feel kind of smooth. No, you're a herring. Okay. It was definitely not the right difficulty. All right. Fair enough. Womp womp. <laughs> it's all right. We'll get there in the end. Don't worry about it. Don't even fret. Compared to the things we've been through, this is literal child's play. On a scale of uh, of zero to 100, 100 in difficulty, we're looking at a solid like eight. Herring is only twenty five difficulty. Yeah, it didn't strike me as a particularly difficult fish, but I don't think the red mullet usually does either. What do we got? You are not a hard fish. That's not that's not a red mullet. Uh, that's, that feels too far out. Let's just go ahead and re reel that one in. On a scale of island obelisk to catch a fish. <laughs> Definitely more on the catch a fish end of the spectrum, I would say. What the heck? I do have the fishing overlays mod. Not installed, but it is available at my disposal should we decide that that is the way we want to go instead. But for now, I'm kind of having fun just trying to guess. Let's try just like off the shore here. Maybe this is where the red mullets prefer to live. Oh. I kind of feel, this feels red mullety. Am I crazy? It's a halibut. He's butting in again. It definitely felt like a like a more difficult fish, at least at first. But it seemed it, it was like it was a red it was a halibut cosplaying as a red mullet. I think that one. Halibut is fifty sinker. He does like to stay close to the bottom. Oh, I didn't I didn't trout soup. Didn't trout soup. We might not need the trout soup for this one, but why not? Thought it would take fewer resets than this. I mean the pool of fish for this one is bigger than it was for the blue discus, so it feels feels appropriate that it's probably gonna take a little bit longer. Or at least a few more resets, I would say. We're currently looking for the red mullet. And I'm going to tell you, I don't think this is it. 
You feel like a sinker to me? It's okay. We can wait. We got the blue hat of Joja, but also the blue hat of the ocean. The ocean calling. What do you got for me? What what on earth? I want to say this is like a tuna. Can I tune a fish? Or is it, is this a red mullet? There's no this chat, this is not a red mullet. This is this dude's darting all over the place. This could be it, you think? This feels like a tuna to me. I don't know if tuna is winter fish though. That's a tuna, yeah. Silver quality tuna at that. Alba is like the sea bass in Animal Crossing. I I've played not I haven't played much Animal Crossing, but I played enough to to know to understand that reference. This man knows a tuna when he sees one. They're very distinct. Tuna tunas if you if you pay attention, tunas are extremely distinct fishes. Here's what I'm saying. I think the red mullet is gonna go like it's gonna go like up to the middle roughly of the bar not quite as fast as the tuna did and then it's gonna like it's, it's just gonna like vibe out from there but i think it's gonna start by going straight like roughly to the middle of the bar like i said i've caught a lot of fish in my time and I don't have the greatest memory of the red mullet, mostly because the red mullet is not that memorable of a fish. Sorry. Sorry if red mullet is your favorite fish. But I think that, like, in my in my brain, that sounds right. That it's going to go, like, roughly middle. That's not it. Definitely not. Halibut leaves at like 11 a.m. Yeah, it's probably not worth waiting. There are going to be fish that we have to wait for no matter what anyway. Because like some of them just don't appear until certain times. So might as well, if there's a fish that we don't have to wait for, let's uh, take our chances. That is probably a red mullet. Did I, It went right to the middle. It didn't go as high as a tuna does. This feels easier. There he is. Red mullet, baby. Not even high quality red mullet. There he is. Long ago, these were kept as pets. I'm, I'm happy to keep that tradition going. Heck to the freaking yeah. Red mullet. Lock it in. <laughs> Goal number four complete. Two goals, one stream. I was here. You were here, chat. <laughs> this, 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 that, what you just witnessed right there was one quarter of the challenge being completed. Not time-wise, but, but goal-wise. All right. Unpin it. Let's go. Let's go. And, uh, take me back. Take me back to the randomizer city where the goals are fun and the fish are pretty. All right. Uh, don't generate the goal yet. We don't want to overwrite this goal. Finish the red mullet. Is that the best you can do, randomizer? Is that really the best you can do after after everything you've been through? You're going to give me that? All right. Roll me another one. This will probably be the last one, regardless of how it goes, because uh, I do have to get head headed to work pretty soon. But 0.7% of perfection completed. Fingers crossed. Generate me a new one. Roll those dice, baby. Cook a complete breakfast. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's not so bad, right? Wait, that's not so bad. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We saved the pancakes. Yo, we do have pancakes. Wait, there's there this isn't so bad. Chad, this is not bad. I think this is okay. If I if I'm remembering complete breakfast right. Let me see. Complete breakfast. Okay. 
this seems this seems fine actually I think this seems okay um complete breakfast so we have we have the recipe obviously we got that from Queen of sauce so we know how to cook it fried egg is available at the it, can't we just like buy this somewhere it can appear randomly in Krobus's shop or the star drop saloon okay that's fine Pancakes we already have. Milk is obviously... We have, we have lots of cows, lots of milk. And hash browns are available also from the saloon or from the... Uh, or from Krobus. Okay. Highly doable. This is a highly doable goal. Just need a little bit of luck on those saloon days. Gus is our secret friend. Yeah, we'll check in with Gus today. Back to calling Gus every day. Yeah, so we'll call Gus every day, and we will hit up Krobus on Saturdays. And that should be uh, that should be what we need for the foreseeable future. All right. Exclamation point goal. Let me go ahead and edit that real quick. Cook a complete breakfast. Breakfaster. All right. I can't believe we're on goal number five already. <laughs> Two goals in one stream. I can't even believe it. It's all starting to fall into place now. All right, let's take this blue. Let's. I almost said blue discus again. <laughs> I'm just in that mindset, man. Take this red mullet home, and uh, and lock that in. Yeah, we, we already have the pancakes, thankfully. That was just a stroke of luck earlier on in the stream. We have uh, we have the milk, so we just need a fried egg and hash browns. And we'll be gravy. Ooh, gravy on the complete breakfast, though? Sounds kind of lit. Could have been a goal to catch a fall exclusive fish. Yeah, we got to count our blessings. <laughs> and we won't have magic bait for, for a considerable, considerable amount of time, probably. Have a good one there, con stick. All right. Um, I mean, the red mullet. You you gotta go in a place of honor here, just because you are a gold fish. So I'll go ahead and. Uh, sorry to. I mean, Craig has a special place in my heart. Is my first trash fish. So Craig stays up there. And eel number two, unnamed eel number two. You can hang out over here. All right, we're gonna call into Gus and uh, see what he's got going. Just on the off chance here. Hey Gus, it's been a long time, but is... Bro, is your refrigerator running? Is your refrigerator running? You better go catch it. Ooh, pumpkin soup, though. How much pumpkin soup do we have left from our uh, previous adventures here? We got the pancakes. We don't have any hash browns. We got two pumpkin soup. I'm willing to go... I'm willing to wait it out and buy some pumpkin soup. I'm alright with that. Clear off some tree seeds while we wait. Evie, welcome on in. You mi practically missed the whole stream and you're sad. Don't be sad. Be be happy that you could be here for the fat last little bit. Happy to have you here for any of it. So yeah, I'll probably I'll go buy these pumpkin soup and then I think that's gonna be it for today. I don't think it'll take us all that long to get the complete breakfast done, but it's gonna be uh, longer than I have time for right now, unfortunately. You're exhausted. I'm kind of exhausted too. The excitement of the blue discus and everything. That took that took a lot out of me. Quick check in with the Junimos, by the way, see how they're doing in the winter time here. Aw. <laughs> they closed up shop. Look at that. At least they they left out the crops for us nice and warm and cozy in their bag. That's cute. I love I love a little winter Junimo hut. Next stream could be three goals, potentially. Next stream could be, like, 30 goals, depending on how things go. I don't want to put anything out there yet, but there are, there are a lot of very easy goals still waiting to be had. The fried egg famine has begun. How hard could it be to get a fried egg? Famous last words. You love our fence in winter? It definitely stands out. It's very vibrant. All right, let's go. Um, booties, I hope you're enjoying yourself. You as well, chicken. 
Let's go do a quick little trash run, and then it should be roughly time for uh, Gust Open. When do I release my schedule for the week? Usually on Sunday is when I post the stream schedule, both on my Discord and on the uh, community tab on YouTube. Isn't there a fried egg in fridge too? Jay, Jay Sky, if that is true, then then that's insane that you remembered that or that you noticed that. I will I will go check in fridge number two. So the one in my bedroom, the mini fridge in uh, in Beatrix's bedroom. You're telling me has a fried egg. If that is the case, then all we're missing are some hash browns, and we can cook ourselves a nice balanced breakfast. Well, hello. All right. Three pumpkin soups. Worth the wait, honestly. Very much worth the wait. Glad you're enjoying the stream, Fossa Nova. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Three pumpkin soup. A nice piping hot pumpkin soup on this cold winter's day. By the way, quick, uh, quick collection check. Ooh! Oh, they have such nice colors, too. The red and the blue, they actually go pretty nice together there. Not going to check Krobus. Krobus only sells food on Saturday. So it's a once-in-a-week kind of thing. All right, fridge number two. You're saying I have a fried egg? I have a, I have a Maki roll. Cl pretty close, right? If we were to just replace the fried egg with a Maki roll, it still sounds like a pretty good breakfast to me, honestly. Either way, those were the look. What on earth was that sound? <laughs> Just a notification on my phone. It's all good, Jay. It's all good. It very easily could have been something that I got out of the trash at one point and just forgot about forever. <laughs> Alright. I am going to check with Gus one last time today, and then I'll call off and then I'll call off the stream. That sounds a little intense, but. We'll wrap up the stream. Salmon dinner. No dice. All right. That's going to be it for today's stream, though. And what a what a stream it was. Good way to close off the week, I'd say. Thank you all very, very much for, uh, for joining on in. For not only our first inaugural trip to Ginger Island and our blue discus and our red mullet and whatever else is to come. Complete breakfast incoming. Next week, I will uh, will continue on this journey and and see where the randomizer deigns to take us. We are we are in a windfall right now. I would say. I think we have finally finally broken the curse, at least for the foreseeable future. Maybe fingers crossed. Maybe there's a chance we get to double digit goals without you know going insane. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to go ahead and get the heck out of here. I'll leave you with the fan art compilation as per usual. Have a great weekend. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And as always, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.